planes flying in the sky Raining terror down on me Raining terror down on you Evil wizards on the right Raining terror down on me Raining terror down on you Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Yeah, most full of rage now, freed from his cage. A hero and a sage, he's the druid for our age. Then there's humble Lombard, full of wonder lost. He's always on the run, looking for that next rush. And Frankie, you should never cry. For at any cost she's never lost, that's why she's the boss. Then there's carrot kisses, she artifices and never misses with her wishes. That's right. So Coreptus be reminded That they're coming now for you Yeah, they're coming now for you So Coreptus be reminded That they're coming now for you Yeah, they're coming now for you Coreptus be reminded Coreptus be that they're coming out for you Hello and welcome to Dragon's Duel The Shattered Realm Episode 8 It's eight. not Episode ah, 8 it's Oh absolutely really? absolutely Episode Gosh. 8 wow. I know oh. We're not far off double digits Must oh be nearly finished now uh, yeah, the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was originally conceived as a four-part, and no, it wasn't. It was originally conceived as a twelve-part. I must admit, when we did start this, then we realised that was never going to happen. Hamilton. Someone was saying, "Oh, who was it? Who was saying?" Um, oh yeah, it was Lex, who's a, a Titanomancy on Twitter, and he was saying like the only way you do a one-shot is you you campfire, one encounter, role play, done. Okay, and I was like, that is why. That put Lex, they are an absolute genius and create so many great content online. And, and then I'm like, I have, and I figured out the term, Columbo Syndrome. <laughs> that is my new term. I have Columbo Syndrome because I'm like, just one more thing. And then I'll go, just one more thing because I can't help it. So, Yeah, so. what was that? Abyssal one shot? Yes. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Was that three, four, three or four weeks? <laughs> Five <laughs> weeks. Was it five? <laughs> it was five. Four and a half. Four and a half. Because half of the time you were in Beholder Disco and stuff like that. So yeah, no, and then oh, it yeah. was yeah, and you trans transferred over. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, that's that. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. So yeah, we are we are here. We're at episode eight. Uh, we've got to a second city. Come on, you know some people. Are, but yeah, whatever. So know. we can plan to to leave um, Sigil in what another, <laughs> another three episodes? Weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's how long it's going to take us to solve this riddle. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. Anyway, uh, with that then, with that then, why don't you, fabulous, fantastic players that we have on the show, tell me what happened last no, week? we've only got one fantastic. It's Frankie. I, so, I got. I tell you what. And, and the only thing I've written down is, um, "Aren't you a scientist?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, wow. such. I was very proud of that line. <laughs> I, that was brilliant. All I can remember really from last week is that uh, I got stabbed in the back by Will's character. <laughs> by G. I G love yeah, that, by yeah. Gigi, giving me back the bloody recorder. Yeah. <clears throat> The, um, Not like I knew that was going to happen. I'm think, loving, but... <laughs> I'm loving Hummel's transition in two episodes from sort of happy-go-lucky <laughs> to to uh, 
fuck Asmodeus to nihilist everything that I'm going to be a farmer, the world is fine to emo kid. <laughs> it's yeah. literally what I, has happened. Yeah. In two Actually, episodes. I've worked out again. This is another reference that Will probably won't get. Um, it, I think Hummel's just going through the entire um, young one's house. Yes, so, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, again, I only know this reference because my mum loves the young ones. Oh, for... oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, we, we, we watched it on one of those. Um, you know, it was all right in the eighties, nineties. Eighties thing, and 80s, she was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I used, used to watch this all the time when I was at uni." And, the yeah, young ones is amazing. I... Absolutely amazing. It was, yeah. uh, you know, it was basically it was what Rick Mail um, and Adrian Edmondson did yeah. before Bottom, oh, yeah, and it was yeah. like, it was great. I mean, I'm too young for it, but I watched I watched reruns. Well, yeah, I, must, <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually watch them when they were first out. I was a bit too young for that. But yeah. yeah, I'm just sort of thinking, I had them all on that, video. Yeah, I'm yeah. just sort of thinking, yeah, that at one point Hummel was was very much sort of Neil, the kind of oh, what's the point hippie sort of thing, yes. and he went the very sort of melancholic sort of Rick. Sort of Rick's character, and then then he just Rick. turned into into um, Adrian for a while. I'll be um, <laughs> Vivian, next, sorry, Adrian. <laughs> next week, I think uh, maybe this week I'll eat one of those apples and then turn yeah. into like some kind of like sixties <laughs> hippie. Yeah. Yes, or yeah. an axe wielding murderer when you drink well, a coke from the fridge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, these are all young ones. If you haven't watched young ones out there, young people, yes. do it because it is educational on the world. It's just so stupid. My my yes, Curse of Strahd, my Curse of Strahd second second character is is Rick, isn't it? That's is it, isn't it? I've made that so it's going to be Rick, and I'm going to talk like this, and he's going to use he's going to be an alchemist to use as his little badges, <laughs> as magical spells. Slots. Anyway, that was my idea. They might turn up in this show. Maybe I'm going to make uh, Rick's going to turn up. I'm going to bring Vic into this game. Um, hey, anyway. it's Sigil. There's all types. There's all types. Yeah, I feel yeah. Oh my gosh, if I could get Adrian Edmondson on the show, that'd be great. Oh, God, awesome. bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, th- yeah, so that's where we go. So yeah, so you, uh, where, where were we? So you... Uh, I don't think we actually ever described what happened yeah. in the episode. No, I, th- I, th- I, th- I think the old people just started talking about the young ones. Oh, kind of every, you know what? <laughs> old people, right? So last week it was half term, yeah, right? So um, I was working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why me and Chloe were able to come and play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had, during during the week, like my wife had the kids, and then when I fit on my days that I have them, I went to pick them up. But because my my wife and her has made a, a gym friend basically from one of the school mums, so they were basically sharing babysitting. So one of them pissed off down the gym, and the other one looks after all the kids. So I had to go to the friend's house to pick the kids, and her eldest child is is um, uh, autistic on the spectrum and um, very blunt. You know, doesn't kind of you know. So I walk, I knocked on the door, door open. I'm getting the kids for the shoes, and he just comes out, and he was like, "Oi, old man, who are you?" <laughs> just like, just straight, straight to the point, wow. straight to the point. And I was like, oh, I was like, "Hey, you cool?" <laughs> but yeah, and we had, we all laughed about it afterwards. I was like, oh, yeah, "I'm, I'm Casey's dad." Like, but uh, I was you are now an old man. But I was like, oh, "I'm an old dear. man." That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this this uh, eight year old eight year old kid who doesn't have a verbal filter, so just said what was on his mind. Who the hell is this old man at my door? You are now <laughs> an old man, Luke. You are not an old man yet. Don't worry. But, no. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, on that note, um, <clears throat> you all woke up basically after your uh, your drunken uh, drunken yes. nights out, basically. So yes. we started with mm-hmm. Carrie and. And uh, her name changed. <laughs> yeah, and Zoe, and, yeah. Uh, and Carrot Kisses. And Carrot Kisses. Okay, is Zosie, her name now. Zoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've annoyed Jr. by saying I've had to switch you around so you're at the end of the uh, end of the the show. So you're Zoe <laughs> for the whole show, uh, and Carrot Kiss and Zoe's called Carrot Kisses in, on all that. So that's fine. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, so you kind of I think you can kind of convince her not to like mouth out about your name. Do you know what I mean? As in, yeah, like, just to I sort think of... we kind of agreed as like. She can be called Carrot Kisses, but just don't tell anybody it yeah, came from exactly. me kind of thing. I think she kind of, <clears throat> she was still struggling more with the actual hangover, let alone yeah. the actual reality of it. So she hadn't really taken it in. Uh, you then went and annoyed Gigi. So yeah, Gigi, you were in your... <laughs> that, that sums up most of the episode, I think. <laughs> this is true. Theories. Gigi's there to be annoyed. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, so then what happened? Come on, I, I'm, I'm helping you out a bit, but come on, remind me what happened next. So We went, went to, to find... Frankie and Hummel, and Hummel was just not there. Frankie was in jail. Yep. yep. Hummel turned up with a lot of milk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> because he's now the, the quality manager for dairy and cheese. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I love yeah. that. Can I say that was a great moment of like collaborative storytelling? Because you're like, do I have to be there? I was like, no, of course you don't. And you were like, no. okay, this is what yeah. you did. And I was like, fantastic. <laughs> I love that. That was so much fun. Fantastic. Especially with like, I think Carrie, Frankie and Zoe were all very hungover. And yeah. Gigi yeah. was maybe okay, but a bit yeah. there. And then Hummel was just like, good morning, everybody. I've been on the fields all morning. Kind of thing. <laughs> Poor Gigi hasn't had a sleep yet. That's the problem. This is no. True. no long rest for Gigi. But yeah, but, but, but you, you, you said that we had our exhaustion removed or something, right? Yeah, but you would have at least yeah. one point of exhaustion. Oh, no, because you yeah. got all greater restorations. Yeah. So you yes. did. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. that's right. yeah Which did. leads us on nicely to Brian arriving with Frankie, having yeah. bailed ah. her out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Greater restoration, race. Restoring. restoring. Greater restoring. restoring. <laughs> restorationing, yeah. Restorationing. Hangovers. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, yeah, you went to go get some food, didn't you? Yes. And then. Yeah. And then, and then Gigi was an arsehole. <laughs> and, so, yeah. and it was just completely out of the blue. It was just like, oh, by the way, yeah. Like, <laughs> he's gone. He's not interested. Will's not interested. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I... Hello? 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 Hello. Hello. We're talking about you. Good morning. <laughs> so, sorry, I must, I must have missed the... Uh... Just the social key there. <laughs> it's like, I was saying that you were an asshole by giving the the thing back to the the recorder yeah. back Carter, to Hummel. Yeah. It, it's his to deal with. Gigi is already carrying around um the, the act of like dimension splitting and doesn't want more like bullshit to have to handle. <laughs> well, that's fair, and that's fair, and uh, and that then turned Hummel's happy go lucky. I'm going to be a farmer. The world is far, you know. Like I'm happy now to emo kid. <laughs> and you had a little chat with Osmodius in your brain, realized you could Eldritch Blast still. Emo Blast. Oh. Emo Blast. <laughs> emo Blast. <laughs> with, with a hair fleck. With a hair I fleck. kind of picture him now yeah, looking you've got as... The, you've got well, the... yeah. <laughs> yeah. As there one of the... Um, <laughs> I kind of picture him more as like one of the, the emo kids from South Park that just like dance outside the school. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I've got my chemical romance going on in my head right now. Ghost I don't. I've, I did make a character completely based on them um, a couple of months back for a one shot. It was hilarious. And I kept on just dropping MCR lyrics in <laughs> uh, yeah. the whole way through. It was hilarious. I'm not going to lie. I have got a very big list of emo music on a playlist because that was my era. I love so, it. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So, you know, I, I, I was more into like the hardcore metal and stuff, but there was a yeah. few tra tracks that I really liked, but my wife's a massive emo kid. Yeah. So. No, I, I mean, I like my post-hardcore and it's sort of that jumps into emo. So yeah. that it goes, yeah. it goes ranges to, you know, to your more devil sold his soul to, to, uh, Lex on Fire or like MCR yeah. or something like that. Yeah, exactly. So. Whenever anyone's like, when was your emo phase? And I'm like, now? Now? Tw yeah. yeah, 2022. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never left it. To be honest, emo never dies. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all vampires. There you go. Well, Avril uh, Lavigne's a clone sorry. anyways, isn't she? Well, that's, <laughs> no, I found no, out that Avril Lavigne is, is not Avril Lavigne, because Avril Lavigne died. Yes. And, and it's Avril Lavigne is, oh, is her lookalike body yeah. double called yes. Michelle or something like that. Yes, I did find this out yeah. recently because she's headlining that Oh, this whole emo thing that's going on in Las Vegas called When We Were Young, I think it was called. It's actually you mean called the, the one that's definitely going to happen exactly as it was advertised. Yeah, with like a yeah. hundred bands that are all amazing. It's, yeah. It's, mm. yeah. That all going to play in the middle of nowhere in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. It felt a bit, it felt a bit strong. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's literally my, literally my playlists all on there. We've but anyway, yeah. Dream Festival. Yeah. 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 I'll, 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 I'll take your, your emo and raise, and raise you have some grunge instead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't get me. No, look, I'll, I'll listen to Mud Honey and uh, Alice in Chains any day. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah, most of my music these days are, are sort of noise, um, not noise, sort of mid 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 nineties to noise grunge, like post grunge. Never yeah. never a Nirvana fan, but Soundgarden oh, and amazing. Alice Soundgarden, yeah, yeah. Mm. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Yeah. Oh, have you listened to Temple of the Dog? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is one of my fave albums, definitely. Yeah, very, super very band, good. super band. Anyway, here we go. We are old <laughs> men again. We're being old men again. Stop <laughs> it! Stop. <laughs> old, old people warning. Uh, anyway, so where were we? We were talking about D and D, weren't we? Uh, yes. Some milk, and then how became an emo kid. That was it. Yes. And then we had a messenger come in and say that 
Yes. Yeah, well, I wrote down the name. Terence, the the, the, the No, Salem came in first, who was the who was yeah. the little yes. the guy. Yeah. Oh Terence wanted to see yes, Terence wanted to yeah. see Gigi. And he's like the leader. Yeah. Yeah. So we His went to Terence. See him. Terence. Yeah, fact all Terence. I didn't write it. It is what's in the books. It is, it is ah. canon, yeah. Yeah, it's canon. That's canon. Fact all Terence. I was a bit fact disappointed because all the other ones have got really cool names. And yeah. This one's called Terence. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in America is kind of like Terence. Maybe that's like Terry. I don't know. Uh, Maybe we should call Terry the Factor, you know? Yeah, Terry the Factor. <laughs> I mean, you know, we did, uh, we did uh, me and Fiona did. Um, Ah, uh, what was it? Uh, limbo, and there's a place in Limbo in the books called Barnstable, <laughs> which yeah. is a Hobbit town. And Barnstable. We were, yeah, exactly. And I was like, I was like, geez, Americans just think we're all hobbits, don't we? It's a yeah, halfling town. Yeah. I was like, but it's what of all the ones to choose, it's called Barnstable. But it was like, I bet they got, say like Barnstable. Barnstable. Well. <laughs> well, it's because it's got a big barn in the middle of the town, but it's gonna, yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I just thought how I was just reading it and they've got like the Gisserai city like the which is called Shrak Trilar and they've got like and then it's Barnstable and I was like yeah what that they, they, they've clearly never had a two hour wait uh, because their train broke the broke yes, down exactly. at Barnstable station yeah <laughs> they've never been to Barnstable but I was going to yeah. make it canon that if you ever go to Limbo and go to Barnstable it's literally our Barnstable it's just the worst yes. like Devon Town it's just a <laughs> shitty Devon Town uh, lovely Devon Town lovely Devon Town all you Barnstable fans out there. <laughs> Yeah, all, the, all, 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 our, all of our listeners from... from <laughs> we don't our, know. Our we demographic. might be, maybe it's our whole demographic. We've lost all yeah, our listeners. So maybe we're really things. popular in Barnstable. Well, I, know, I don't know where Barnstable is. Steve the Vampire is from... Is, he lives in Devon, so... I no, he doesn't. He lives in Dorset. Dorset? Dorset? Is that the... Yeah. Uh, he lives it's all that south way. to me. And Barnstable's north Devon, so actually it's pretty north. It's much norther than... Yeah, and anyway. I thought it was Devon, there we go. Northerner. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it, Barnstable's it's not, technically northern. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's further south than Huddersfield. It's, it's the south, it's south. It's... That's uh, fair. I mean, everything north of London is the north, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah north exactly. of Watford Gap. Yeah. Watford Gap. Yeah. You've got to get at least past Northampton, then you're in the north, all right? And then you're in the north. It's good. It's... <laughs> Um, oh, let's not do this again. Let's do every time, every time, every time. Quickly Sorry, before we mention the glass cannon. Yeah, as about to say. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. He did it. Oh, it's so funny. The owner also said to me, "Have you ever listened to the? Have you ever watched the glass cannon?" I was like, "Don't mention the glass cannon. You'll turn up. You'll call him. You'll summon Luke." <laughs> it's, like, it's like Candyman. If you say it three it's times, exactly Luke appears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we you saw finally, Terrence. You saw at Terrence the tree. at the tree. Yeah. Yes. And Frankie he took us to see the weird portal thing. Yeah. That yes, that's it. Yeah. Frankie tried to steal some apples, but he just gave you one of the apples. No, I, I, was... I, tr- I tr- Frankie tried to mimic that he was going to steal an apple, but then yeah. it was uh yeah, but then I was just given one, which spoiled all her fun. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm really sorry that you're meeting so many high-level powered people because it ruins yeah. all the fun. So I'm gonna, I'm sorry for now on that state. You've gone and through all that. Now we're gonna get rid of them, okay? Because <laughs> like I want you to do all these crazy, stupid things and not have to like, yeah, play that sort, sort of thing. To, to be to be fair, just just going a bit meta now. I think that's probably better for Frankie actually of, of being knocked down a couple of. I think it's I think it's more fun. It's doing. I think it's, some I think it's funnier. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Frankie trying to yeah. do stuff and she's just because she's used to being so overpowered. Mm. And now she's not anymore. So I think it's she yeah. doesn't quite realise she's not as at the same level as these people. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I'm up for that. Um, okay, and then um, uh, then you went to see the portal, and it when you got there, it was it like a flat line, wasn't it? Mm. And then when you walked into this little miniature temple, which is for like the high priest, once high priest of Escar, it like circ- it like became a cylinder, and there's all the port the planes are all messaged on the temple. And you then mucked about with it, basically, for a bit. For science! For science, exactly. <laughs> there was a very tense moment, wasn't there, when Frankie got the axe. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I was just so tempted to do like a full hand solo down the garbage chute then and just fling myself into the portal. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is kind I of where I'm it. going to next, is I don't know what else to do. What other options have I got now, other than mm. just to jump in? Like, yeah. You can mm. always try. <laughs> you can always try. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, if anyone's um, jumping in, at least take the axe with you. I suggested that last week. I was like, why don't we just go through with the axe? And if we get yeah. lost somewhere, we can come mm. back again. Mm. 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 
Yeah, that Hamilton works. looks like that's definitely going to work based <laughs> on uh, your, work. your good. facial expression. Yep. <laughs> Let's just say it depends who jumps in. <laughs> yes, that's important because because all the different every single person that had the axe it did something different. It did do something different. So, you were yeah. just about to say about trying to visualize something. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> Yes. As well, I, I, love it, I love it when House is trying to do subtle because your face changes. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Let's try and stop smiling. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You smile inside, so it's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um, with that, <laughs> uh, oh, I should really get. I could do this back again, couldn't I? Which is my. Um, <laughs> ah, <excellent>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> I'll do that occasionally. It's really weird when it does this, so I can sit moves with you. Ooh. Anyway, yeah, Ooh. it's very freaky. Anyway, that's um, gonna be great. Sorry, the editors were complaining about us having slightly different mics. Yeah, <laughs> you think? Uh... I don't mind that. I think they're fine with that. They'll just gif it and, <laughs> and put it out there. I'm sure. Um, so you know, you okay, made yeah. it when you're a gif. Yeah. You know you've made it when you're a gift. Well, that's true, exactly. <laughs> yes, that is it. Immortalize me! So, um, uh, sorry. <laughs> We're getting all cult leader again. Uh, so, with that... Everybody, it's not a cult, I promise. <laughs> we are not a cult. <laughs> um, when you have to say that, it becomes very much aware that you maybe are one. You may actually uh, be one, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> eventually, though, you finally last heard someone shouting. And we'll just go from yeah. there. And I'm gonna, I've got a new accent for this person. I started with just my British accent, and then I thought, I'm going to give them something different. And now I'm going to completely fail when I go in. I feel like I'm... Maybe if these accents are too much, please tell me. But I'm just enjoying giving them characterization. But if they are on the line, you just please be aware that I'm just trying <laughs> to give yeah. them characterization. And it doesn't have to be a good regional accent, because that yeah. can just be what this that's region what sounds this, like. Exactly, that's yeah. it. Exactly. Then you have to perfectly replicate whatever you do the next time. That's, that's the problem. That, that's, that's the issue. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but it can just be that this region, they just have bad, like, French accents. Yeah, that's exactly. They have really bad French Canadian accents if they're in the hills <laughs> and if they're <laughs> deeply For example. Hell bad Fantastic. everywhere but russian accents as we're now calling it <laughs> and and then yeah so uh so yeah you were you were mucking about with the portal yeah oh Gigi had the 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 vision oh, on yeah. the third attempt at it yeah Oof. i was like mm, maybe this view good... of hulking husk of a, of, a, of a body huge ginormous body lying in astral space dead then you got a secondary go at it which was that it twitched Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that was it. I'm like, mm -hmm. just cool, yeah. just cool. Oh, yeah, you I'm... spoke to Francis, who said you're a scientist. Yes. Aren't you a scientist? Yes. Francis oh. also gave you some major revelations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was oh, like, Paris, oh, I've yeah. been here before with your parents, and I was like, pourquoi? Excuse, uh... excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't know you spoke French, Chloe. Mm. I have an A star at GCSE. Mm. Hey, high five! <laughs> wow, high five! Same here. Yeah, that's one of my A stars. <laughs> what, Can I remember of any of it? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got I know. four. It wasn't that many. <laughs> that's just one of my A stars. I got four. I got a B in English, so that, you know. That is, say that is four I more than me. How was got it? an A star mm. in English. Yes, so. yes. Oh, exactly. I, got, I, I got an F in French, so it kind of there matches. So. Yeah, I got an, yeah. I got an F in French. I'm going to yeah. stay quiet about can, the rest can, can of I, can my I just get paid, now. Can I just get very political for for a second? Can, can, we, can we please uh, rec, can, can we please retcon that um, Zoe's accent is not actually Russian, it's Ukrainian? Can we well, just, I, yeah. uh, I was going to say it was anything yeah. but Russian, but yes. I'm happy yeah. for it to be Ukrainian, but I was saying yeah. it's anywhere but <laughs> Russian, right. is what right. I'm That's saying. Cool. Yeah, cool. no, I wanted to clarify that in this episode. And I was going to put it in the text chat yesterday, but I forgot to mention it when she turned up. Yeah. But yeah, it's now, yeah. As I said, she doesn't, she wouldn't like anything that's going on. No, so, no. Yeah. she's yeah, not she for that. So, um, Just, yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, she's from, she's got, she just got an a, a Eastern European, European yes. accent. accent. We're going to yes. say that. Yeah, clarified. Yeah. Clarify for everyone at home. Um, and so, yes, yeah. The, oh, yeah. Carrie's parentage mentioned some of the, some of lots of little threads <laughs> i'm just i feel like it's the charlie from uh always sunny in philadelphia thing with the board yeah, yeah. like yeah who, who is Pepe sylvia yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly so um with that you've got someone then walks in and goes 
What the fuck is going on? And that's not meant to be. That's meant to be some sort of Spanish sort of baseball. It's completely gone from me now, so it'll come back to me at some point. But yeah, so someone just runs in and goes, yeah, basically that. And we know who it is. Do you? It uh, I have a suspicion, <laughs> having actually read the law that you sent me. <laughs> I, I swear you said who it was, and I can't remember, and I didn't I write it down. I think I did as well, yeah. I, I'm mad. Uh, isn't it Lysandra, the gatekeeper? Yeah. I'm yes. Pretty sure I've got it written yes. down, so yeah. yeah. She, she asked people to name, um, like, you know, five, five uh, Nirvana albums before they can wear a T-shirt. <laughs> Wait, why do I know this? How, I don't get the reference. It's making a gatekeeper oh, joke. Oh, gatekeeper <laughs> joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, when someone says gatekeeper to me, my brain goes to go I didn't even... Ghostbusters. Are you the key master? Not that I know of. Yeah, you know. same here, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't even get that reference either. Didn't you? Oh, no, jeez. Oh my gosh, my reference. I'm doing badly today. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realise that she's called Lysandra the gatekeeper, and then that yeah. actually could be a good joke point. Oh, I don't. I don't want to make her a gatekeeper, if you know what I mean. Like, as in, like, but I could have played her as like a, yeah. a gatekeeper sort of person. But maybe, well, maybe I'll try. I mean, she's in here, and she's like, "What the hell are you doing?" So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's hmm. room. <laughs> I bet you don't even know the first portal that was in here. Did you say that you've taken a lot of inspiration from like an old 2E book or something? Oh, he's on mute. That, 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 yeah, that, 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 that killed oh, your microphone. Sorry. These are all characters from the Planescape 2E book. So yeah. these are all like. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense that she's a gatekeeper then. Hey, but do <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not a gatekeeper, and I think everyone should enjoy D&D however they like, and they should also yeah. read the 2E because it's the stuff, because it's really good. Yeah. Everyone should enjoy D&D well. however <laughs> they like, find it. such as listening to our great podcasts. <laughs> exactly. Uh, they could listen to, they could get into Pathfinder, but it will only it will only make Luke happy, and that's the only reason I don't want you to do it. <laughs> Other than that, please enjoy it, but enjoy what you want to play, but just for the fact that it will make Luke happy. That's fine. Um, so anyway, yeah, so you guys... Um, yeah, what the fuck is going on? We're testing out the portal. We was just about to go we, through. We, huh? Do you we want to have a go? We've got this axe. I, uh... yeah, we, we, we tried throwing stones at it and that, that didn't seem to work. <laughs> wow. I threw a rope through it. Okay. Um, Sorry, who who are you people? Oh, you should recognize me, right? Uh, yes, Gigi. I, I know you. I'm going to go really Italian now. This sounds going to go yeah. wrong. <laughs> but yes, I know you. Yeah. Ah, but the who is Frankie all fight. these? Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. You, 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 you say that as though you, you don't know me? I'm sorry. No. Uh, you, no, yes. I don't. I, I accept your apology. <laughs> that is fine. <laughs> I'm just concerned and confused as why you're all um, playing with the uh, with all these uh, with this crazy thing. It's this is uh, it's incredible. On, on instructions of the fact, all I, I would stress. Okay, right, yes. Um, also working for um, old Angry Face out there. Right? <laughs> okay. yes. uh, he, Terry. He, 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 he means... No, no, I think he means the Lady of Pain, right? Yes, sir. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Angry is how I would describe I don't think many face. people have called so her you are So you are ever. all the... You are all those, right. I know who you are now. Thank goodness. That's okay. I was concerned that you were not the people that I was expecting to find in here. heroes, savers of the yeah. universe. Uh, yeah, yeah. With, with the people necessarily causing trouble. On One of you is probably actually... the most important people in the entire multiverse. Yeah, that's yes. that's, yes, that's that's uh. I, I, I've got I've got business card with us on it actually. Yes, um, <laughs> just wait one minute. No, <laughs> no. She, she doesn't. Okay. She's going to point to go to like she's like seeing these people. She's like getting a little bit overwhelmed by it. She's like, okay, right, okay, it's going to be hard work. Um, one of you is a scientist, right? Yes, hi. <laughs> in, in theory, yeah. <laughs> um, um, what are you? What's he laughing at? <laughs> Aren't you a scientist? Aren't you a scientist? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. One of you is a scientist, right? Maybe some order and calm in here, because we've got something very... This is absolutely incredible. What what have you learned so far? This, this looks amazing. Well, uh, we got that axe, and it seems what to react... What is this axe? What is this axe? Again, only here with permission. Y yes. It's something that may, have, may or may not have been gotten from a demon lord's board. 
what? <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> what have Where you been have doing? Have we been? Oh, uh, yeah. You know. I think I think that's a more relevant question. I'm. This is. I've never seen patterns of this. Can I see it? Can I touch? Can I hold the axe? Would you mind? Yes. Yes. Um, yes, she can. Or, or very, yes, she don't mind. Yeah. You yeah. let her, you pass the axe over to yeah. to her. Yes. Okay. Yeah, very I, trusting. I, I'll just describe her to you very. It's a very. very... Because, well, I know who yeah. it is, so I don't have any reason to distrust no. her. No, we'll just no. discuss. She looks very, very evil. And you're just giving her the axe. <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go say she's wearing skulls all over them and it's you know it's like no. uh, hey don't judge based on appearance no exactly exactly 100 percent. Right. i mean looking at frankie you think she's really evil but actually she's <laughs> just slightly just, just, just yeah. quite evil yeah. <laughs> yes she just wants yes. to take over the world is that so much to ask Who it's doesn't? not to be fair is it it's not at all <laughs> <laughs> these are simple these are just these are just simple everyday people's desires <laughs> exactly as I said, everyone has a for formidable attribute, don't they, as a, as a person. So um, I'll, I'll get her. I've just, I've lost all my, it's always the thing. Too many notes as ever. Right. So um, for you is a, uh, a human. She's actually human, human. Um, why am I getting that sort of warning? Thank you, Adobe. Uh, so um, she wears a sleeveless, uh, a sleeveless sort of, um, a top but it has like a massive cloak that comes off the back of it that sort mm -hmm. of runs all the way down and it's kind of patterned with like um little eye eyes and but not like like a you know like on the end of a peacock feather you get those little eyelets in color mm -hmm. it's like those all over it and then it goes to these little tassels ends which are all in like so it's like uh it's quite pale colors in the base it's like a beige but then it's got lots of deep reds and purples and blues in the actual eyelets but it's not an mm -hmm. eye it's just that sort of shape um mm -hmm. she's got these little tattoos on her on her arm which are all like symbols of circles that like all spin round and like vortices and that and she's got like a massive one round her eye like this i'll get an image that's like kind of covers a big uh like dark mark around here and then it sort of portals like out if you know what i mean like swirls out um and she's got little dots on her head and she wears like a a, a choker with little like d diamonds coming off it she's very bejeweled and very like and there's jewels in her hair and like lots of like beads and and, and stuff in her hair so she's kind of like it's a bit more trying to say that she's like more She's got like more of a, like she's not like, uh, like prim. I'm trying to give that impression that she's actually much more like a bit more chaotic feel to her, and just the way she looks is kind of giving off this sort of sense. That's all I'm just just trying to explain. Um, but yeah, uh, and like hair's all like out in like in tasseled and stuff like that, and sort of, um, and so yeah, so she sort of like holds, she picks up this axe, and as I said, she's like all like jeweled hands and stuff. She's got this one of those like things that goes like down on your hand and like covers into a mm. bracelet like on a mm. finger ring and she sort of picks up and goes oh my gosh this is absolutely marvelous all these symbols i recognize some of that is of this plane and that reminds me and she goes and she goes um someone uh oh ruby ruby and uh she uh, ruby, you see a little ruby, ruby. little yeah little orb, little professor orb of her own come out and um, Ruby, yes, well done <laughs> great is that going to happen every time I mention Ruby now yes. yes, yep, that's it, fantastic right, every show has to have a song that happens, so Ruby comes out This little, and it's a little orb, but it's um unlike your orb, which, is, well actually I don't know how, you never really describe what your orb looks like if you... no, I thought of it as, as like a kind of fist size si fist, si fist size, yeah, fist size like sort of bluish kind of silvery kind oh, of cool. orb. That's yeah. how I imagined it. Like a um, ultra ball. Like a pokeball ultra ball. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well this one is more actually like it's made of clay. Uh, like it's porcelain with like stained like like a like a Japanese um raku sort of staining to it. Like it's like but again with these sort of symbols and portals. And she goes, Oh Ruby, um take some take take notes, take notes for me. And she sort of like speaks and goes Okay, so I'm seeing the symbols here, and this one is clearly limbo coming here. And if you see that the angle that's coming down here, it then passes Carrie's into like multiple creeping planes. Closer there and... is a yeah, and there's yeah. She's, so she's <laughs> mentioning lots, of, and it kind of goes to mumbles, and you hear words, and she's just saying like, you hear sticks, and you hear oh roots and ley lines I've not seen, and 
what is this? So, this one um, goes chaotic, overlapping with lawful in very interesting ways. Fantastic. I mean, I've seen this on gate. The gate down in the hive ward, that's very similar to this one here. Yes, you're taking notes right. And she's going through that. And she's just gone. She's in her world now. So it's, it's called the uh, Realm Splitter Axe, I think it was called. Realm Shredder. Realm Shredder, <laughs> yeah. And and it was yeah. uh, it was made by... Because I feel so like maybe, maybe... I'm going to take now. notes. Yeah, <laughs> maybe take notes. <laughs> I don't, yeah, even I remember that breaks. one. And that I've got a pad somewhere. Down. I just G was ill prepared. G she just breaks character to like directly Jim from the office the camera. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at the camera. You absolutely can, and we all will when our bodies decompose. Please don't Jim the camera like that. Jim the camera? The color black hasn't had color. anything to do with it. It's made by um, <laughs> Aosaka. Someone. Aosaka. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I was just, I was just trying to be my "Are you a scientist?" moment again. But no, it's fine. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Aosa, this is an Aosa. Well, that would make so much sense, particularly with some of the older symbols and relating to the older portals of the city. Which, by the way, we are fucked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. we noticed. Yes, it we, is. We've heard. Yeah. It is absolute chaos out there. I can't tell you actually, and it's converging here. You planar, you are a planar um Gigi, right? You you come oh, from yeah. yeah, so you will know that um you know that uh you can tell where a portal is. You have this ability to know where portals are active and where they're working yeah. and stuff. So we are the only one in the, in the whole of Sigil is right here and people are converging outside. So I have been sent um by the council to come and investigate what is going on here and yeah this is my turn to make a determination so any help you can give me on what you think is going on here would be fantastic because i need to report back because there are some bad outcomes the harmonium guards are outside and they are they are very you know as they are not fans of yourselves and athar yourself very eager to they've been wanting to rummage in in this temple for years and so they've, if they get the go ahead I'm sure they will have us yeah. all out so I'm concerned they will jump before the gun but um, I need to make a determination on what's going on here because at some point w there is no food going to come into the city there is going to be no water soon that is drinkable and this is our only this is the only portal I've seen I, it's weird I haven't so what has happened tell me I'm I need to know what you found out so far you've been playing with it I see so when someone said something about rocks well right? as far as I can tell it's a kind of it's shifting portal between mm. different planes and, and stuff but apparently it's searching for something searching I don't know what but it did seem to stabilize when we used the axe and sort of touch the axe to it but it does something it. different for every person that holds the axe. Right. Interesting. Uh, that's pretty much all I got at the I moment. Would, that is... Well, you know that this being an Aosakarian relic, and this being an Aosakarian temple, and this being uh, the only portal that is around, there's there's got to be some sort of connection to that. Well, yeah. I mean, we're in this room with all of the, the, the plane yes, symbols and things. Yes, I have been here before. It's... It's 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 a derelict site. It's never. It's just the tomb of of uh, the high priest is below us, and um, this is the sort of his crypt. I. It's why it's decorated in all the the planes. Aoskar being the the god of portals and doors and transportation. It makes sense, but um, this is altogether not something that I was expecting to find. Um, so what happened? You 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 go with the axe and you go near it and it changes. Depending on who of you are? It seems so. It was kind of, uh, let me see. It was kind of gloopy when Gigi did it. And then when I did it, it just got bigger and like more stable. Then Hermel tried and there was like shards and red stuff. I think we probably should keep Hermel away from this kind of stuff in the foreseeable yeah. future. Um, and then Frankie, against my better judgment, had the X. Uh, that also went kind of gloopy, but also kind of orange and but bubbly. Frank has Frankie tried touching the axe to it? Yeah, Frankie did touch it, yeah. It went yeah, like basalt. Yeah. So who hasn't touched it then? Because if Gigi was the third person to touch the axe, then there's one person left over that hasn't done it. Carrie. I touched it, didn't I? Did you actually touch the axe yeah. to it? I yeah, that's what it, I touched it and it went um, 
and it got bigger and went like and stable like someone could jump through it i thought but did it I don't think you touched it. I don't think you actually touched it. I think you went first. You went went close to it. You went close to it. You never touched with the axe. Mm. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Touch the bottle. Yeah, because you're right. Because otherwise, why would Gigi have been number three? I'm pretty sure you didn't, I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure as well. Oh, wait, no. Gigi was... Gigi was... Did it once. And did it twice. And And then... And then some... No, so Hummel did it first. And then... And then... Frankie. And you held fr- it and went up to it, and then yeah. Frankie yeah. was the first one to touch it, and then Hummel touched with it. Is that right? And then I think it was the other way round. No, I think Hummel touched first, and then oh, Frankie Hummel touched first, then Frankie, yeah. Frankie touched it, and then it went back to Gigi, Gigi, who then touched it, but you right. had never had the chance to uh, use it and touch it. Okay. Well, the, the, f- the fact that the DM is putting this much effort into working out if you've done it or not. <laughs> I think it's... Um, well, I'm saying that, to my knowledge, you haven't Harry's. touched it because okay. I haven't explained something. I don't remember explaining what you would see I when see. you touch it. Because I don't remember saying what plane you would... Mm. It's your turn, Carrie. Okay. Oh, well, I- I'll give it a go. Also, there might be something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should <sighs> go from... I will edit well. that bit out, <laughs> or will I not? <laughs> God, go uh, yeah, if Gigi's allowing it, uh, then I'll... so wait before oh, you yeah. look. Wait, the just Sindra before has the you, axe. you have the axe. Yeah, she has the axe. Before you take this, just let me just understand. So you, Gigi, Githyanki, uh, Gith Sarai, apologies. Um, yeah, big difference. Makes a lot Very of sense. No, she would have said Gith Sarai. She wouldn't. I uh, would yeah. be making a mistake. Not Lysindra. She would definitely not make the mistake. She's uh, so you go. Oh, so. Well, that would make sense. I assume Limbo, Lim, Limbo would be the plane that would, if it's going to resonate with you. What happened with you, Basalt? That is clearly Gehenna. I could not think of anywhere else. I am more intrigued to know more about you, Frankie, and your past ways. And then, um, uh, the Bard, sorry, your name? Uh, I'm the uh, magnificent Hamilto. Uh, oh, you know, nice the, to meet you. The Wait, luckiest uh, part. You are from Faerun, right? Uh, yeah, originally. Yes. I'm from lots of I different recognize, places. Been around, you know. I recognize the name. Something about Waterdeep rings a bell with me. It's been a long time since I've been back in my hometown, mm. but. It, it... I've been there once or twice, yeah. I, I, I mm. you know, saved the city from debt. By finding a lost fortune. Yes, I heard the news. That's what it was. I heard yeah. news, and when the whole um, ah uh, yes, the money and the the never ember. That's I the remember. Guy. Yeah, that was it. A... Yeah. yeah, that's where I knew your name from. Oh well, well, a pleasure to meet you. Oh, um, just despite all of that, actually, never ember is an all right guy. Actually, I mean, oh right, but yeah, I've he... never met him. I just am. Um, originally from the city but a very long time ago so in fact funnily enough i actually helped never ember because uh, when he was still open lord of Waterdeep, uh, and he was helping out the relief effort in in neverwinter um after the royal family died i actually helped him find um the lost uh the kind of like family tree certificate that proved that he was actually a lost heir of the um of the throne there you go well you've been a very busy boy <laughs> how old are you Herbal? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. You lost. You got really. a story for every day. I got a laugh. That <laughs> sentence didn't make any sense. That makes sense to me in some way. <laughs> Time it, is it a just, It just sounded like a sudden thing to say. It sounded though. like a sudden. <laughs> you got a great <laughs> story for every day I've been alive. That's that's yeah. good. <laughs> um, well, am- amazing. Um, hmm. There is. I'd love to know more about those sorts of interest. I'm interested in all knowledge. That's incredible. But you, when you touched the the axe, I didn't hear what you said. What it, what did it turn um, to? Um, shards and red stuff. Yeah, I probably... think we might be able to guess what that is. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern about. emerging. Shards being planes of law. The red r- making me think of certain planes of law, which we will have to figure out that story next then that's another story i'm imagining um so yeah. yes okay so there's there's obviously it's obviously relating to something that connects you to one of the planes shards being more law gloop as you called it the terminology fluid maybe uh for chaos 
interesting and it's searching for something. Did you said you threw some things in? When they threw through, they they did they did they affect? What did you throw? Just some rock, some, the yeah, some rubble. Yeah, Frankie threw a rock and yeah. Bubble threw some rope. And it just went what anywhere random. A... Uh, yeah. It's, was it when I threw the rope? It went to the fields of green. Was that the or was that the yeah. rock? Yeah, one was a rock went through fields of green, and one went to uh, a mountain which was all frozen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of stayed there for a little bit like the, the door kind of held open but then it changed again and just cut the room mm. and these were smaller because it looks very small right now okay yeah interesting well you say that you haven't touched you why don't you take the axe and have a go yeah. and if you're okay i don't want to put this upon you if you're happy no, of to. course okay but, uh, we've all got to do it otherwise there's no mm. control okay that's a very good point i will have a go myself in a minute I just of like course. This Okay, so, Tito. Yep. <laughs> so you walk up close to it, and as I said before, it when you get closer, it it sort of doesn't really focus on anything. It doesn't really focus on much. It sort of goes gloopy to shards, but they become bigger, and it becomes a bit more random. Um, and then, and then when you get closer, it it then does for when you get to the axe and you put closer to it it's still still shifting 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 it's trying to find the right one and it's finding it very confusing it seems confused in itself so i'd like you to roll me um a d4 please oh <laughs> three okay. a three give me one second <laughs> i need my i need my great wheel up how uh, have i spelt the word continues wrong good job Claire. <laughs> I don't even um, know what I was going to write. You but got it a three. To continue. So, yes. okay, fine. So it, it um, the portal when you hit on it, you notice that you've got these these gloops and shards. Okay, and what happens when you go closer to it? It becomes something. One of the two sort of mix together, and you find yourself hitting the axe in between two shards. Mm. So it kind of they kind of like merge, and then when you hit the axe, they literally are split down the middle, and you cut right down the center of between two, and it then port parts open a bit, and inside it you see green, luscious fields, but are vibrant beyond vibrant, very vibrant, <laughs> and it is um, you see little wisps of light, and and glowing fabric sort of flowing off. And um, and then that's and then it sort of closes off again from it. Huh. Interesting. Now, it didn't literally open for anybody else. It just yeah. kind of. But it was like Whoa. when I say parts, it's like probably about that. Wide. Yeah, like a tiny. Yeah, but it's it's tall. It's probably you know three foot or something. Hmm. That is interesting because I was assuming all of this was very. Outer planes. That is clearly an yeah. inner plane. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of Feywildy, which definitely. Would, I, I mean, mean, that would yeah. make sense. Gestures. Yes, I mean, you have that. That obviously your your peoples are originally from the Feywild. I yeah. Imagine. Yeah. My knowledge escapes me, but it didn't feel. It was felt like it was searching for others in in there. Yeah, it was kind of like shifting a bit more than the others. Hmm. Do you want to try again? Strange. I, I could try again. Let's try again. I mean, should well, if we're gonna do this experiment properly, I kind of feel like you should do it next, so we've got a okay. baseline. Oh, I forgot to say something. Wait, I'm gonna have to edit this in. Ooh. Sorry. So you hit. Oh wait, no wait. Are you just touch, not hit it. <laughs> yeah, no. When I mean, you just, hit the thing, I forgot to mention this. No, I'm gonna have to retcon this bit back, okay? Because I forgot to mention. It. I got too I got caught up in the description of the fable. When you hit the axe, and when you it, it opens, you're seeing into it, and you're seeing this thing. You feel a warmth here. Mm. Forgot to mention that. Ah. <laughs> you feel a warmth, and it's sort of, it's just like a very subtle, like, yeah, like a breath of, like a breath of hot air. I like, take my other hand and just, just take the necklace out and just kind of like do that. You see, it's very faintly lit. Ah. And then it fades away once you've the portal closes. Well, that's odd. 
Hmm. What's, what happened? What, what's odd? Well, what, what's my, that you got there, Carrie? My necklace. It's the one I showed you last hmm. night. It was like lighting up and stuff. The one that but, from your parents, you said. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, my 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 birth parents. It. I've only done that once before. Hmm. Well, before all of this, I always had this kind of belief in life that everything happens for a reason and that you should follow these tugs. Um, I'm not too certain about that now, as you know, with everything that I've discovered the past couple of days, but perhaps that's the way we should go. If you've managed to open a slight portal to the Feywild and your necklace is giving you a sign, perhaps we should head there if we can find a way to get there. If we can get through. I don't that... we want to spend much more time in this room. It's uh it's all getting a bit yeah. tedious. It is a bit. Let's let me have let me have a let me have a look at this then. Let me have, let me I, I am kinda more. curious to see what it does for you. I've it's got okay. an interesting idea. So far we've just been hmm. touching this yeah. thing with the axe. What if we were actually trying to use the axe? What if you were to actually strike it with that's the axe? That's what I was gonna suggest is the next logical it is step. The next logical step. Oh yes, that sounds right. excellent idea. Pass, pass, pass me the axe. I'm, I'm happy to hit uh, it. No. Uh, no. Uh, Carrie, you currently still have the axe, so yeah, I am not it. passing it to Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> um, go on, Carrie. Use your best judgment. I mean, unless um, I mean, listen. Is anyone attuned to the axe? No. Uh, unless Gigi has, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I... one of the requirements for tuning to things again. The only so person that is technically attuned to the axe is so well Zoe. Because was it was say, charged. I charged it for her oh. when I was all super powered for Zoe. So you right. basically, I treated that as that you charged it to give her the yeah. energy to it to attune. So she's the only one that's technically attuned to it. Um, Just to yeah. clarify that point. Just you. Uh, it only well. takes an hour to attune. So if you want to give it a go and you want to make sure that you can benefit mm -hmm. from its powers, we could just go grab mm -hmm. a cuppa <laughs> and come back. Um, there's also the limitation that I can't uh, attune to it because it's a martial weapon, right? Like you need. Oh yes, because I'm the only one that can use it. Actually. No, I can, yeah. I can, I can use. In it. I can use martial. Um, oh, can weapons. you? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, Valabard, So I've got proficiency in martial weapons. Well, one, one of you two. Can, uh... Feywild, hell. Who wants to go? <laughs> Feywild or hell? No, I'm I've, <laughs> I've had enough exactly. time in hell recently. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go and close do you want. I don't mind. I'm just joking. That doesn't yeah, mean that's what's going to happen. The only thing that's niggling in my mind was like, was this not curse? No, that wasn't. No, he said no. It, the, the curse was more that it's because curse because of the name that it represented. Right. Brian. Yeah. Brian, I see. Yeah, the actual things. Fun, Brian is like going to turn the pitch up now and go, oh, hi there, Lysindra. Um, Hi, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to hit the portal or I hurt. You know, yeah, I'm just Brian, always here just as know, a like Brian, voice of reason, just here just to let you know that, um, I don't know, is that a good idea? Well, it's all in the name of science. I think it's fine. We, I think it's fine, right? But I think what else we got yeah, to lose? Um, I think we'd be very careful about it. We make it scientific. We don't <laughs> jump in when happens. Let's all stand back. One person, you know. There's a Frankie and Hummel oh, to some extent. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> action, you are. Uh, you have some healing magic. Do these people have healing magic? You, Gigi, I think you are a healer of sorts. So. Let's all just be prepared yes. for what might happen. And um, yes. I've got a ring of protection on. I will keep that on here. <laughs> so, she, uh, yeah, so is someone going to hit it? Okay. I'm happy to hit it if you want me to. I, can. I'll, I, I guess I'll hit, hit it if yeah. I had the most success. So do you success. need to probably attune to this Do I weapon? need to attune? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do then is you take an hour... I'm going to just do some, I think it would be good anyway to take the time. I will just make some markings and have a look. I will take some notes. I also then mm -hmm. want to converse. Brian, you are here. Yes, Dabu, who can speak. Interesting. Um, we can converse and maybe we can get word back on my findings to the council and we can see if that can <clears throat> see if we can give us some more time because I think they're going to want, they wanted my report within the hour and if we're going to spend an hour here, then I better do that. Just tell them you're on a special uh, mission with the um, 
lightsabers of the universe. They itself. all know who's here. Yeah. They also. And if they've got I'm an gonna... issue with the fact that it's going to take you a little bit longer to do your report, just tell them to come and see us. You, I'm going to say you... that, um, guys. Or, I'm just going to tell you that the lady has already made the decision that this is how it's going to work now. Um, okay. So she said, "This is." She's called the council and told the Harmonium to come and keep the area safe from people trying to get in. She's going to take the view from from Lysindra, and depending on her determination, because I hate to break it to you guys, but what? Sorry, sorry. And they I scored a goal. The yeah, yeah <laughs> they sorry. A goal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that Burrow scored a goal on the another multi The Burrow scored a goal in uh, that, second. Well, thank you to oh, have an elation. Chris, yes, like... Chris, I'm just going to do a little golf clap for you. <laughs> Keep keeping in this excitement. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. I was seeing you looking at something. Yeah. I, I, know, I, was, I was like, like are you playing you championship roll? manager or something? It's, it's the, yeah, it's the six, 16th minute of extra time. Um, and a local lad has just got put us one nil up. So I, I, I am, I'm back in. I'm back in the room. I'm back in the zone. I, I apologise. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just letting you know that Lady's made that decision. She's the one that's gonna. She's determined that the harmonium is here to keep it, to keep it calm. That's what they're there for. She's instructed them of that. They will do as the wording of her. To be honest, there's a lot going on that's just beyond just you guys at the moment. There's a city at war nearly, so we need to figure out this. So, Lysindra's going to make a decision. I was going to send a word to them now. That we're going to need another hour over. Yeah, so I'll try and do it as fast as I can. But it's probably okay. going to be an hour. All right, just give me a minute. I'll go outside. Where's Zoe gone? Oh, hello, I'm outside. I'm outside. Hello. We all, we all doing okay in there. I'm just going to stay here. I don't think you need me. Right? Powerful. Hi, Lysindra. Hello. I mean, you can, I mean, you can both come in if you want. But Brian's in and she's still standing oh, yeah. outside. She's just like, I don't know. I just, I don't want to be in way. I get, I cause problems. I guess. Brian in the way. Okay. So, so Hello, everyone. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You're, you're one of the group. I keep exactly. on saying. She just kind of walks in and goes, Okay, I'm, I'm here. Okay. Well, do I do anything? Just stand here. Just stand Hello. there and look pretty. Okay. Thank you. I, I thought okay. that was my job. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit degrading, but okay. Thank you. Um. I will sit here. I will stand here and be myself, if that's yeah, okay. Absolutely. And then, and then, um, yes, okay. Hi, Lazindra. Hello. Yes, you know my sister. Yes, yes. Good, good. Yes, cool. I stand here. Okay, okay. She just <laughs> we get a, a little, a little drop of Zoe law there. <laughs> yeah, I'm her sister. <laughs> you never asked her. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> It's not really the thing when you're in the middle of the abyss trying to like get out. For you your don't really go like, like yeah. go, oh, so you got any siblings? Any siblings? <laughs> Particularly oh, a, a lady yeah. who, uh, uh, Hummel, you would know she had a sister because you saw her brain, so you would know. Oh, that she has I a sister. would know. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I know so anything that she me. says, you will. Yeah, you would know that. So yeah, which is yeah. well, I will. You will know the name when it comes up because I'm not going <laughs> to say it now live, but you can know. It. Um, so yeah, uh, the syndrome goes. Oh, uh, hello. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Kylie's sister. Yes. Right. You've been away a long time. You're back. Okay, cool. Um, right. Uh, okay. Let's spend an hour. I'm going to do this. Hi, everyone. There's a big group. Bigger group. I saw them outside. Right. I didn't realize. I thought they were guards or something. I thought, okay. Yes. Um, right. Uh, and then she gets on. So I'll give you an hour. And she just goes around and she's got Ruby out. And she uses talks to Ruby and takes notes and is looking at the room and sort of figuring out things. And then she borrows you've got to take the axe because you can't borrow the axe but she's going to pick up some rocks and throw it and do the same sort of things that you've done basically if anyone's watching you notice that when it gets closer to her it because she mm -hmm. does it has a similar thing to carry it goes very much in and out of chaos and and the sort of the, the gloop and the shards basically and it doesn't really focus on anything particular but it doesn't ever really go red it doesn't it just it just sort of is in that liminal space that's between the two and she just walks away from it and does a bit of this. And she sort of maybe asks, directs Carrie if she can walk a little bit closer with the axe <laughs> with her sort of thing. You know, like, can you come with me this way a bit? Just to just to see if it changes the effect and then brings you all closer with her. And then she does a bit of like, um, she's just like focusing her mind. And you see it, tr it does try and form something more, but it doesn't really, she doesn't really do anything more than that. But you can see that she's trying to concentrate and it tries to shift things, but it's never enough mm. if you know what i mean um and then she takes out some symbols and some little keys and stuff like that that you notice little objects and she starts placing them closer and then those start to attune with it very much it's like ah right 
and she she's got like a little pouch and bag and she gets like a little feather out and then she gets out something that's like uh just like a tome and then the other one she starts singing a little note on like a on one of those little like harm like a like a pan pipes she has like a hoo -hoo 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 like sound as a pan pipes out i can't do a pan pipe sound <laughs> that, that, that was great Alan. yeah Thank there you, you go i'll get some insert some enigma music here uh, and then we'll have some pan pipes I, I, and I then thought she brought a pet monkey along <laughs> sorry <laughs> thank you yes so she does that and then uh, she gets like yeah, loads of little things like that and that does change it but it doesn't get ever bigger it just kind of focuses it on its own with the with bringing it closer and she touches it with it and it forms but they don't open nothing is ever opened until you throw something at it and that's when it seems to open to take <clears throat> effect but never bigger than a rock hours up you're attuned to the axe okay all right we all ready for this has anyone else done anything uh, in that hour just to ask? Oh yeah, that's true. Just in case. I'm just I'm going to quick look at my spells list to see if anything like relevant. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, not really. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Fra Frankie will just been popping on the corner, juggling with things, and just randomly mm -hmm. doing stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> so now that you're attuned to it, Carrie, <laughs> you will know that it has six charges. Okay. Now it had infinite before when it was charged up by Hummel, but it's now six that charges. Makes sense. It has two things you can do. It has it has a it has two sides to it. One side you can cut a hole and it will create a portal to anywhere and do a plane shift spell, six charges. Or mm -hmm. the other side is you can make the you can do the same amount of charges, but uh, planar gate, which is when you do the the gate spell. Whenever it's like like portal, you mm -hmm. can cut a portal <clears throat> and then cut a secondary portal, and it will um it will you can walk through one to the other, and that has a a, a very large range. I'm going to say up to a mile. Basically, Ooh. you can cut one portal, and then you can go a mile away, and then cut another portal. Nice. It will Do last. They both use one for charge. Eight hours. Is... Yeah, uses one. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, to cut the double portal one, you got six charge to create one, and then it's pair basically. Oh, so so it's like one charge for one and one charge. For... No, it'll be oh six charges for six charges to make a, a set. If you know what I mean, okay, for the I'm other one, you. and then for yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'd say. It's amazing. Nice. But it's not like. I think Astral Gate is you can think of a place and make the one on the other side. It's not like Dimension Door. It's literally you have to go to the place and then make the and other then portal. Make it. But you, yeah, and yeah. it will last for eight hours. Okay. Okay. And that's all that you've got to do it. And as well, it is a great axe that works just like a great axe. Yeah. And um, you can also, when you can expend one of your charges on in either of them, one of them to basically <clears throat> add damage, serious damage, which could be uh, a 2d12 force damage by... Uh, but use one of your charges, basically, which was like you slice it and you do that and it sends their body to the astral plane, basically, and cuts them in half with force damage. Nice. That's it. So, awesome. yes, yeah, you've got this axe. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Gigi, are you on, on hand in case anybody gets hurt? Doors closed? Windows closed? Yeah, yes, I think. I think if something, I think if what we're expecting to go wrong does go wrong, there's a limited amount that I can do. But... Yeah, but as long as you're, you know, there and ready, it's the best uh, we can do. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. We've got Brian as well. He's out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just cast Bliss. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be on a t-shirt. I cast Bliss for <laughs> Brian. Can, can, can I interest you in a nice cam trip in this trying time? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's an always sunny reference. It is. I think I've been poisoned by my constituents! Oh my God. Can I offer you a nice cam trip in this trying time? Yes. Yeah. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So anyway, yes, you were saying, so you've got the axe. Yes. You've got bless, so 1d8, because you got super bless uh, okay. to any attack roll, spell save, whatever spell save or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah. uh... Let's do this! Let's do this. Okay, um... Stand back, everyone. I, su I suggest, right, guys, everyone. Lysindra, come on. I I'm, I'm going to stay close. I would like to see what's going on. And she's sort of like she's going to she's going to actually <laughs> watching you and sort of like this. Yeah. And I'm going to sort of step forward and just as gent as gently as I can. But I mean, it's still a swing and it's a great axe. So it's. You, well, tell me, you're going to make an attack or not? Come I'm on. I'm going to make, make an, an attack. attack yes. Yeah. But it's going to be Get like on, a. <laughs> We, we won the nat okay. 20 type attack on this thing. Well, give me a roll. Yeah, give right. me a roll. But we'll roll see. with disadvantage then, if you're going to give me a half assed attack. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, no, either. Uh, what I'm saying is, you're saying you want to do a weak attack. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. give me it with a disadvantage that's and take the lowest roll, is Where's what I'm my... saying. I'm not, like, yeah. punishing you for it. I'm saying if that's what you want to do, you can do that. No, I think that's what you do. 
you know, first. You've got yeah. to build up. Mm. You can't go straight for it. Oh. Well, I, it, it's kind of terrible for the first one anyway. Okay. Uh, what would I add to an axe? Uh, my strength, isn't it? Strength plus proficiency. Uh, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. That would be a nine. Oh, plus three. Plus three, a twelve. A twelve. Okay. I need you again, roll me, because it's you, a d4, please. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. One. A one. Okay, this one is slightly different. We this all time... wanted to go to the Feywild, and maybe we won't. <laughs> well, this time, <laughs> it, you hit it. And this is very interesting, actually, because what you then hit is you get, again, a liminal space between two, but it's around. What you've done, you've got all of them converging, and as I said, when it's around you, it's just bigger versions of different ones. You notice that four or five, or maybe even six of those different shards, you hit between six of them. Instead of like a number of them, not just between two, just between a number of them. And when you hit through, it you it kind of you go down. Twelve is not that hard, so it's like a boom. You feel an energy rush through the the axe. Okay, you then get a similar sensation. You get a vision, a vision of the astral sea. It's a vast, a plane, a hu a hulking mass, rotting corpse sitting in this space. It is. It twitches again, as you see it this time, and uh, you feel this pulse of energy just rush through you. I need you to take... Uh, need my dice. Not all those dice. That's just me getting my dice out. Don't worry. You hit with the six points of lightning damage as lightning crackles through it. But when you see that, when that lightning hits you, that's when you see the twitch. And it's very subtle. It's like a like a like that sort of thing in the hand. Again, you feel a warmth pulse, and you feel that lot warmer in your in your uh, in your stone. Okay, uh, it's still it's still warm, but this is not the Feywild. What you see in the crack is that you've created. You see it like shard between all of these things, like light, and it does this, and they peel apart to reveal astral space and then literally in the moment that it hits the shard and then it kind of goes back okay uh did not expect that will did you tell us about the vision or did you just i can't remember uh yes yeah i feel i, yeah. feel, I feel like Gigi would have uh, mm -hmm. Gigi... i didn't explicitly say that i did but i think it would be in character too i think you did that... actually i think you might have done yeah because i i think you said something but i couldn't remember what yeah. you said um yeah. Gigi, you know that uh the vision that you said yeah was it like that astral sea stuff you okay uh no not really That's you fine. everyone else saw like lightning much worse, actually, than it was just you got a good roll, but much worse than what Gigi had. You saw what Gigi got like a shock, like like a like a little shock through it. This was like <laughs> Thor-like oh. stuff going down your arm, and like it just kind of like in case you're new, sort of sparkle off afterwards. Are you okay? You that was that was a lot of energy. Uh, do, you, do you need released. a? Do you need a heal? No, I, I'm I'm kind of okay. Uh, I I mean it hurt a bit, but. It wasn't that bad. I guess I'm wearing a lot of metal armor, and I guess it kind of just discharged through the floor. Uh, this is probably slightly dangerous. Okay. Probably, but yeah, I've done I've done more dangerous things than this, so I'm not that bothered. I would like bothered. to see if it would hit more, but I'm happy to, for me to... Oh, you're the only one that's attuned to it. I'm yeah. sorry. I think, um, um, I, yeah, I appreciate me... that you, you know, you're you testing, but it didn't look yeah. to me like you were really wanting Working. to... Yeah. No, I, I didn't want to break something and i I'm thought just, i could try it harder i just want to see what happens if that's okay but like yeah, don't I mean, feel too I, I, don't, I don't want you to get too hurt but i am interested to see what would happen when you really give yeah, it some i'm interested too Go you on. know i didn't want to break swing. it and then we didn't Big have swing the, the back maybe oh, um, okay i'm doing it like doing i it. tried suggesting to um gg earlier on really focus you know you've got your necklace focus yeah. on that energy yeah. focus on that memory 
and just smack at it. And I tell you what, you have a bardic inspiration while you do it as well. I'd say that was an inspiration, yeah. That's oh, an inspiration. Well, thank you. What, hang and on, you what does roll... the bless do again? I keep forgetting. Plus eight. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oof, so that would have been a non that 20. <laughs> that's only on, bless is on, it's not on attacks, it's on saving throws. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, um, bardic and inspiration is, a, is... is an extra D8. D8. So you can either use it on the attack roll, or if it does something horrible, you can just save it for a saving throw or something. Yeah. yeah. But you've got the bless for saving throws, so if you want to use yes. it. And I'm also going to say, because of that, Go with advantage this time. If you're going to go Ooh, for it, go with it. Exciting. Go for it. Come on, let's go for it. Can I roll Bardic Inspiration after seeing the result? Yeah. If you yeah. roll low, okay. you can choose to use it if you want to. Yeah. Oh, I think I might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. These are my new dice. They're not rolling well. Uh, plus three, remember? Wait, it was, yeah, it was five plus three, which is eight. So that's, oh, actually, it's not too bad. Nineteen. 19. <laughs> oh, doing so terrible. 19. Okay. So with 19, this time, uh, again, I need another D4 from you. Sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, I keep forgetting. There's always another so one. Many, always... So many dice. It's just because it's you. Like, literally, there's only... Four. A four. You're getting the whole range. You're getting the whole range. Okay. And on the 19. Okay. So uh, four, this time, you... Uh... Right, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So when you hit this time, you find that you do not find a liminal space between the realms. Mm. You find you find an actual realm itself. Mm. And it is a perfect square. Perfect square. An absolutely perfect square. Never you just when you look at it, it actually hurts your eyes because it's so pristine. And you hit it and you hit right directly on it and it shatters completely and the you do not get a vision this time you do feel the warmth very much on your in again on this on this uh on your stone but what you see is this shards kind of come at you and i no one else to everyone else you just see it shatter on the page but to you carrie it's like you're drawn into this this shattering um, shattering square, and it's just infinite. These in these shards, and you're like, you sort of recoil because you think they're like these glass shards are going to cut me. You know, that's what it feels like. And you're and you see infinite clockworks. You see these machines and gears infinitely turning with these little flying objects um, that are like winged circular beings with eyes. And you might know of them if you can make a history or nature check. I, I don't can know. do. do you? Yeah. I think I, Chloe, know of them. Yeah, Chloe probably <laughs> does carry, you though. Tri- you see oh. triangular ones. You see... I mean, it's an 11, so... No, it's not. If it's history, that's less yeah. than that. That's, um like, eight. Eight. An eight. I'm going to say, even with your knowledge of planes, you would probably guess this is Mechanus, and you'd probably guess these are Modrons, hmm. but you're not certain of what they are. But there's lots of different ones and there's weird ones, ones that look like five pointed starfish and they're all and they're wandering around uh, on this like infinite clockwork and, and moving about. But you're there. You're not seeing a portal. You're just seeing it through these shards. Everyone else at that moment, though, outside is waiting for you to roll the four. This is very useful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. It's not. It's fine. It would. It's it's uh, so then suddenly you see you feel static all around you. You know that that feeling of static, that that sort of taste in the mouth, you know, when you've and when you've taken a jumper off and you see this little spark. The air feels very, very weird. And suddenly you hear a noise far off in the distance of a and then it's just like sound erupting in the background. So he goes, what the heck was that sound? And, and everyone's like looking around. So, so Chloe, uh, Carrie, is just in a zone, not there, right? And you can hear this humongous noise. You hear some screaming, you hear shouts going on outside, and then you hear a second. And another sort of like, and the, the energy and the electricity in the air is 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 palpable. You're feeling, you notice that this, this spinning thing is spinning, starts spinning, 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 spinning. And then suddenly, it, and it's just you, the and uh, Lysandra goes. I, I, it's getting. And it gets loud, and this and there's sort of a wind starting to build up. And he goes like, 
I don't know what's what's going what what is going on. I think we need to. I don't know if she's okay. Can someone check if she's okay? I don't I don't know. And Zoe's like, Gary, Gary, are you okay? And you can't hear any of this. And it's starting to wind up more and more. Um, guys, I don't know what's going on. What's, I'm getting. There's been another rift. I think there's been two two of them. Something's going on in the sea, and it's getting louder. It's like it was spinning up. There's been two more. There's been two lightning bolts come from the the red orb. I don't know if that was was that her. What do you do? I think we need to get out of here, but we need to get her out of what's going on. Can someone grab her? Don't all rush at once. <laughs> no, everyone's just like very <laughs> quiet. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Hummel would <laughs> jump. It's like cause... literally chaos is going on, and you're like, yeah, what <laughs> is that? <laughs> Sorry, it's because Spurs Burrows on, isn't it? It's, That's it's, right. it's now finished, and we've won. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm back in the room. Uh, to be fair, Fra Frankie lives for chaos, so she's just yeah. in enjoying the show. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. So can, can we actually get to her? She's still actually stood in the same space, or is she actually? She's just stood in the same space. She's just standing there. She's like as uh, if she's gone like this and paused at the moment of where she's hit it. And if you look hard enough, she's moving very slowly, like very slowly, continuing. It. But she is stuck in like a sort of like it, she's stuck. She's like paralyzed. It's. So for you, you're still, uh, to Clary, you're still, like, envisioning the space, but you're like amorphous, you're like a god-like creature amongst mm. this thing, and you're just sort of watching it flow, and then you start noticing that they're, they're all rushing, they're rushing to something, mm. and um, you start seeing, you start seeing this, this, like, thing out the corner of the top, like, right-hand side of your vision, like, it's a big screen, and you sort of, like, try and look up to it, mm. and then it's like, there's like a big, like, bubble of gloop like growing in this very perfect machinery and it's just clogging up a machine and it's growing and the machine's like going like this and they're all like rushing around trying to stop this thing and it's this bit of gloop is glowing and it turns from fire to water to 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 to, to um sort of mud and then to like rock hard rock and then you see something like S like this other being that's like a like a shape like a six-sided uh like hexagon comes down and that's trying to deal with it and you see it's you see the, the thing trying to form but it's cogging up all the machine work and then you start to see some sort of frog-like being emerge from it and they all start to run oh. um back to the room there's uh your yeah brian is like guys we need to sort this out there's something going on we need to go there's two Massive explosions in the city. There's like uh, two huge, like lightning bolts going to the to the red orb right now. We need to stop whatever she's doing because this is causing problems. Yeah. So Hummel has run forward and he will like try and grab her on the arm and, and shout like, oh, I don't like shouting down the mic. Gary, Gary. Yeah, just stage shout. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Nothing try... seems to be like you. She's not responding to you at all. Try like pull her. Can I pull her at all? So when you put your arm in to touch her, you should try and grab hold of her. Yeah. You feel like it's heavy. You get, you can get there, but it's like, oh, like it, once you get very close, you're like pushing through like like mud. Like you're pushing through like a, a like some sort of sludge to get to her. The air is thick, mm -hmm. but you can grab her. Yes, I need you to make. If you're trying to pull her, I need you to make a strength roll, please. I can probably do that. Let's see what my it's strength is. where you're is. glad that she's a Shetland pony size centaur. <laughs> this is yeah. it. A full sized one. How much do you weigh, actually? Yeah. I, I have it's a bit I've not thought about it, but I've got no Google. idea. How much does a Shetland pony weigh? A lot. <laughs> plus, half a be plus half a human. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. not. Probably not that, be. like. Well, okay, so, like, I'm six foot five and I'm about 230, 240 pounds. So it's got to be double that, surely. Probably. probably. Uh, four hundred to four hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, plus okay. plus the like torso. Half a human. Plus a, it probably half takes a human. to to about well, five hundred pounds. Let's say five hundred, five hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, I rolled I a think, one, yeah, but luckily I'm lucky and get to reroll yeah. once. Yeah. Oh yes, and then I rolled a nineteen for a total yeah. strength of twenty-two. Well, you nice. need to get over twenty because she's quite heavy. But you are, somehow you humble you. You, with your college of value, you, you muster I, the strength in, in moments of need. Right? I am proficient in animal handling. <laughs> I would have allowed hey. you. I would have allowed you to. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I am. I've got a plus six in animal handling. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I grew up on a really, farm. Well, I'm going to say that that helps with your understanding of how, like, 
anatomy works and how to maneuver someone who's got four legs it's not the same as just pulling yes. if you try and pull over a human they, we're quite topply you know we've only got mm. one center of gravity whilst you know to maneuver a horse you need to sort of get uh, like it moving in the right direction uh, as with opposed that, to to things which have more than one center of yeah gravity. i was about mm. you know, you know what, what i mean Will? I was trying really hard not to pick up on that and I was very okay, proud of myself and you ruined it. <laughs> All right, okay. Apologies for my misuse of terminology. I'm trying to manage a universe right now. <laughs> okay, I've got two freaking models. I'm going to go Lady of Pain on you in a minute. No, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to manage a universe. Can you not? <laughs> no, I'm no, uh, I mean, no. you're trying to manage multiple by the sounds of it. <laughs> yes, exactly. So and what I meant is you've got one... Uh, locating point at ground which is the the two feet you know but they kind of they kind of you've got one one axis that goes right that but you whilst in a four pointed you've got like more yeah you know what i mean anyway you pull it you've got right, a lower center around. of gravity because you've yes got and you've got a lower things. center of gravity yeah and more but you've got more um width to that center of gravity as well it's more centralized isn't it because we're tall yeah, and thin the lower something lower is flat. the less hard the harder it is to topple it over yeah, and okay. that is all dependent on how big the base is so yeah, if you've got four big, legs yeah. way bigger Exactly. There we go. Yes. Thank you, physicist. Thank you. That's what we just need. And that's what I was trying not to pick up on. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, officially, I am idiot. So, uh, aren't you a scientist? I am not. So, um, <laughs> then uh, you amazingly, Hummel, you see Hummel with this College of Valor amazingly ab ab ability to bring and muster strength in times of dire need. And you are able to pull and carry. You feel yourself, you're seeing this image and you're like, disappearing from it and the shards are reforming back again and you're sort of like going away but i don't know it's how you would i don't know what you would be feeling in that moment because you're losing image of this sort of chaos happening and yeah i mean probably like seeing all of that sort of happen like i think her instinct would probably be like oh uh i guess something needs to be done here but mm. like i don't know i assume she can't really do anything you can move about when yeah. you're looking at it. You can sort of direct your focus, but you, you're amorphous. There's no, like, you have no physicality. It's very much like you were illusory before. Right, yeah. Just but I guess it's all, like, complete focus on this one thing that's happening, mm. and then it's, like, that little kind of in the corner mm. of your eye, like, distraction, like, kind of being taken away from you it, would, and it's like, what? Yeah, what? You, you, you know, you try to zone in on this... Uh, and you look in the corner of your eyes and there's Hummel with a sugar cube. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh. If that's the first thing Carrie's seeing, like, you say You're goodbye to your head. She's got an axe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's got an axe in her hand. Right? Which can, yeah. Be careful. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, you're able to just sort of pull and you feel yourself like that thing like disappearing as it comes and you feel yourself like lost and you complete the axe swipe. But you're, I feel like the way that you'd have to of move carrying have to be moving like backwards away from because mm. you couldn't have got from the front because that's the axes in the way and hitting the portal and then suddenly the sort of the, the, the spinning and stuff like stuff it's like you pulling it the sort of wind is blowing in your hair as you like reach like get away from this um out of this axe swipe you finally move back into like normal motion again and swipe down into nothingness and that air just sort of like <sighs> stops again and uh, it's all calm, but you're still like you can still hear quite a lot of noises going on outside. And um, what? What the? What? Are you okay? But, no. Uh, the heck. I don't know. Do you see that? You, did you? Did we? Wait, but we're still in the room. Uh, Who are you? Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's a bit of a shame. I, I, I was enjoying that show. Uh, do it again, Carrie. Do it again. Uh, I think I was like, do down. not do, do it again, do okay? Do it again. Jeez, are you okay, Carrie? Like, seriously, like, um, where the heck did you well, go? Uh, uh, physically, uh, I think it was, it looked like it was like me mechanism, maybe? It was like okay. squares and clocks and and the little, and the little guys. The, and it was like mod, this... Mod, modrons, those little weird yeah. funny things. They're cool, they're blah, blah. But, but are you like, okay, though? I, th I think, I think so. It was very weird. It was yeah, like I was yeah. I was there, but I but but I wasn't there. It wasn't the Feywild then, is it? No, definitely not. And neither that was the last is... time I, the second time I did it either. No, so it still appears to have some kind of element of randomness. Yeah, but this is still go still warm and glowing. I mean, it stopped now, but it didn't hurt you this time. No, but there was some kind of like. I don't know, when, uh, uh, gloopy stuff, like, it was so 
It was just completely, completely out of place. Like, and this frog thing, it seemed very wrong. Like some sort of infection. Interesting. Very strange. I mean, that is, I, I'm sorry to have made you, like, do the hit again. I didn't know it would go that strange. I hey, I mean, it's all for science. It was mighty interesting. I just, you know, a bit dizzying and I feel a bit better now. What, 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 what's all that noise? Yes, um, I don't know. I'm, uh, uh, Brian, you can con contact what's going on. Uh, suddenly with that as well, you just hear <laughs> feet marching in to the, into, you hear them outside clinking of armor. You hear people going, where? Where are they? Where are they? Come on, let's get get out of here. You start you hearing people like, no, no, no. Who are you? And you hear like Salem go, wait, you can't go in there. You can't go in there. Like, what are you doing? And they just get out of the way, boy. And they just like, do you see here? Who's going on? Who's in here? Who's in here now? I, the Syndra, right? You need to come with us. Who are you? I'm sorry, you kind of come with us. I'm sorry. Who are you? Um, I am Cat Corporal. Corporal um, Masters. Corporal Masters. That's the name. Yes. Corporal Masters. Oh, Corporal oh, Masters. God, and from yeah. from where's my fantasy name generator? There's too many things going on. Uh, um, yeah. What authority are you demanding that we come with you? Uh, of the Harmonium Guard. Of Sigil. That's lovely. We're on a direct mission from the Lady of Pain herself. I suggest you take um, out with her. I've just been given warders. Uh, Brian goes, uh, yeah, okay, I think they've actually, actually kind of got told them they can come in, but I don't quite know. Um, yeah, they, these guys are with the Lady of Pain. We've got, you know, they're just helping out. Well, that's going to have to be taken up with you. Dabu, who speaks. I'm sorry. Are you another fell creature? Okay. That's, hey, don't, don't be want... rude to Brian. He's trying his best. I know, but have you seen, you know of fell. This probably is clearly another fallen, uh, fallen Dabu. In no, his defense, not... we kind of dragged him here. Yeah, no, it's, don't worry about them. Look, seriously, I will talk with her. She will. I'm sure we can sort this out. Can we just calmly do this? Okay. I'm gonna go. Well, you've got to come with me, and you're gonna have to. Can you know? We have to go back to the barracks, and you can talk to us there. Okay. For, um, Frankie's gonna draw her shot ball. Now, if you want to meet pain, I suggest Ooh. you take one step yeah. closer. And he Hummel's draws hand a starts great glowing purply black. That's a great side God, great sword all he wants. Whilst holding his own okay, in right. the other hand. Brian's like, guys, I don't know if this is really the best idea right now. I don't think we need to start fighting. And Lizanne's like, no, I, I don't think we need to, we don't, I don't think we, no, no, I need to get into spend it. It's hard. Ah. <laughs> you keep on introducing many... NPCs. How many are in this room? <laughs> I know, there's so many. <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry, I'm just here to be crazy. We're, uh, we're, we're going to have like an entire episode where it's just Hamilton role playing with himself Hamilton. with like five different people. She's basically, the Syndra's basically going to just say, I think we could just, I think we can all, you know, like uh, calm down here and we can just stay calm. And I think I can talk to, like, let's just go with them and, we we found out some things. I think we probably need to sort out. There's probably a lot going on in the city right now. So let's, yes. What are they going to do with this portal? Fra 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 Frankie's still holding the ball. She's she's, yeah. She's she's got eyes on on. As the gatekeeper, I feel that I can suggest scientifically that you do not come any further into this room. I think something that happened in this room has caused problems. So I think we need to keep it uh, under control. Do you like understand a that, Cap Corporal? Yes, I would suggest exactly like a quarantine. This area is unsafe, and I think we need to just make sure that anyone... So you protect it, Corporal. You're obviously in charge here. Um, yes. I will... Yes. Uh, yes, yes, private parts. You you listen You listen to the good uh, lady here. Does anyone want to make a persuasion check to ad advance a help here somehow? I don't want to roll against myself. It's so boring. <laughs> uh, someone say something. Persuasion. Yeah, I can do a persuasion for yeah. you. Go on. Uh, using my stat... Yeah. Okay, so that's 28. 28. <laughs> All right, right, okay, fine. The bard. <laughs> the bard. So, right, um, I need to get, oh, let's just get, what was he? Just corporal something. He's just going to be British, isn't he? It's, it's like that. It's like that. Yeah, so, right. Um, okay, fine. Look, sorry. Just there's a lot going on right in the city right now. So I'm just trying to make sure that everyone is safe. But if you will come with me calmly, we can take you out of here and we'll go talk with the council. They want to speak to Lysindra. I'm sorry, Lysindra. I didn't see you when I came in here. That's fine. We can all put our weapons down and we can just 
forget this happened and we can all move out. There is another 40 guards outside this door, so if you want to start fighting, I think I would suggest that you're probably not going to get very far. Is everyone under agreement here? And he looks at all of you four more than anyone else. I yeah. will put my bow down because I choose to put my bow down, <laughs> not because you've asked me to. I respect Ignore that. Her. That's fine. That's fine. Let's make a move. Come on through um, and follow me in step. Uh, right. When we go out the door, there will be. And then when you turn, when you see there's another doorway at the back, there's already another guard behind you. Ready? Carrie, mm. as we're walking along, we're going to be like, Carrie, are you. Do you feel all right with this? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to look at that portal some more. Well, you've attuned to the axe. We could just go. Yeah, but I, I want to know. Surely, if you want to go to the Feywild, we could just go. We don't need the portal. I'm less concerned about going to the Feywild and more figuring out what's going on with that portal. I thought it, it, the first time it seemed like it was leading to the Feywild, but I, then the other times it wasn't, so I mean I, I know I that I've been under a lot of stress recently but part of what I said last night under the influence still rings true to me today. We don't have to do what other people demand of us. I know. You think Sans has got this far without cooperation, though? Just bear it in mind. You want to go and find your parents. I'll put you back. Hmm. Well, what? if they weren't, uh, they may have started in the Feywild. I don't have particular reason to believe they're still there. Okay. Say the word. I think I need more information, is what I'm saying. If you want to go, I mean, we'll go. I'm not a leader. <laughs> uh, is this just between these two, or can 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 we hear this you're as well? All, you're in a sort of line yeah. of each other. You're yeah, sort of I marching don't out. think unless unless Luke wants it to be. I don't think. No, no. I'm happy for it. the other rest of the group to to be. Uh... Involved, just not the guards. Not it's the guards, yeah. Yeah. Deliberately quiet enough that the guards can't. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. The guards are sort of well. When you come out, they just give you a very brief before you say what you're going to say. You come out and you do see a lot of guards. Oh, that's my phone. So unprofessional. Um, unprofessional, yeah. Yeah. You notice that it's a Bowie song. So you'll get uh, inspiration <laughs> yeah. now, right? Yeah. Yes. Just going to check. Uh, just give me one second. I just have to answer this, okay? Just hold on. That's all. Yeah. Well, just on, on the script, Frank, Frankie really has a thing about, if you imagine about authority, and I, I say we, I, I would say we do one. Frankie's very much I up for a jailbreak. Were. I could do I a distraction with a, with a with a minor illusion and make a noise or something like that, and distraction, we can make a run for the portal. Thin Lizzy kind of, starts playing. I mean... Uh, I kind of want to, but on the other hand... I'm also really intrigued to see what's going on with all of this orb stuff. And I'm like, I feel like if we do a runner, we won't get much chance to figure all that out. Okay, so, um, yeah, so you will... So, what was I saying? Yeah, so you come out and there's a... Um, there's loads more guards out in the area and they've already started like you see them like going through all the doors and into the different parts of the temple there seems to be a whole guard on every single door to the main temple because you were up to the north of the temple you were coming down towards there's the main temple and then to size there's two terraces there's terraces that then go out to the you're sort of in a garden area that's sort of walled at the back and then there's two there's terraces on the three other axes that go out into the streets and there's sort of big gates there and they've been opened the gates but there's you can see at them now there are just masses of people at all of these gates outside onto these terraces where at the base of these like steps is where there's loads of harmonium guards which just look like paladins your t typical paladins in like shining silver armor very like all straight backed and sort of with great swords great axes and all very much in sort of their sort of like shining best and stuff like that and you can tell they've got little like corporal signs on the sides and like different like insignias and like little you know all the sort of army regalia sort of thing 
But yeah, as you walk out, you're in this sort of courtyard where there's you're being followed by one at the front that's this corporal masters, and then you've got this other chap at the back, and then two other sort of guards that follow in behind them. So anyway, you were going to say something, Frankie? No, well, we we had that conversation. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, we've had we that provided content for you. Oh, did you? Whilst <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on a the nice surprise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing is, then I've got to then cut myself out of this. <laughs> well, well, that's good because we don't want the NPCs to hear what we were saying amongst ourselves. It oh, works perfectly. Yeah, 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 that's, that's actually yeah. quite fun. Yes. I quite like that. I'm actually happy for you to tell me to do earmuffs if you want. <laughs> we're, we're, that's fine. We're, we're, we're saving you from the temptation of uh, meta gaming uh, in your own okay. game, Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, meta game, my own game. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so Frankie's just giving eyes. To, to Hummel and to Carrie and to Gigi is like, what are we doing? Are we doing something? And so, okay, so you're getting, leading you to one of those to those things. Okay, we're gonna get you out. We're gonna right. We're gonna get you out of here. And we're gonna get you to. Um, the, so we're gonna go out the eastern entrance and we're gonna walk out through um, out through town. If you can just uh, yeah, oh, be patient where, with us. Where are we headed again? Uh, the Hall of Speakers. We're going to go to the Hall of Speakers. That's where the council's members are there. Okay. That sounds like a there. scary place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. Do I get a phone call? I get a phone call. You're not under arrest, sir. You were just uh, you were just going with us to... Um, you did, against... did just acknowledge that... <laughs> just, just going with you against this our... Yes. Wheel, yeah. this, this list we're looks... just going to take you to see uh, the... To see uh, the, the, you know, the rest of the council members. It's a bit of a walk, but we'll get there. Did, did you do you often uh, do you often flank your guests like this? Well, to be fair, it's more for your own protection. Have you seen the mass of people out there? There is fighting. There are people very eager to get inside here and want to speak to you. So, if do, anything, we're you, gonna. You've, 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 you've not seen three dwarfs, have you? Um... <laughs> Frankie, <leave. laughs> another time. Yes, I have. <laughs> right, okay, okay, okay. okay but if, if if you just stand here and you just Frankie just kind of positions herself, just sort of. Uh, Hiding behind the car. <laughs> so when you get to the, you get closer and closer to this mass of people, and it is, as I said, there is lots of people surrounding this place. They're all shouting, protesting. They are eager to get in and saying like you hear things of like, just as you're getting closer, shouts of like, "Let us in! We need to get! I need to get to! I need to get to battle today! No, I need to get! I need to get! A, I've got to get a, a meeting in Emporia!" And like people just like shouting these sort of random things like. What's happening with the portals? Is the Lady of Pain okay? Has it got something to do with this red orb in this? What was that explosion? All this sort of stuff just going on and shouting at if, them. If and you just had to massive. kind of guesstimate sort of this crowd like, in mm. a square foot kind of yeah. space <laughs> they're taking up. If I give you Trafalgar Square, so, right? So massive. So, so Trafalgar uh, Square bigger is than like... A, bigger than a 30 yeah. foot square. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quite, quite quite a bit big. <laughs> right, well, in, in that case, um, what, Fra Frank Frankie, yeah, Fra Frankie is going to cast thirty feet away, um, minor illusion, and it's just going to be an hysterical voice cry. Look, look, the portals are open again. Look, the portals are open. Yeah, I'm just like thirty feet away from from like the opposite okay. way direction. You hear some going. people like go, where, 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 where? Someone's just like, people are just like, oh, some people like are all shoving and moving and pushing themselves in there. I like that. As you, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God. from a slightly the, different the, position. The direction, yeah. The yeah. Like, okay, they start yeah. shifting yeah. again, and then like people are just getting in. Start. You hear some fights. Like, oi, get out of my way! And punching people, and yeah. they start little bits of fights are getting in, and then the harmonium guard are all going, no, 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 I'm gonna go in there and start fighting that's what god sound like isn't it and stuff like that the intention here i'm assuming chris is just to try and disperse the crowd a little bit so we can get through oh no no i'm just doing for shits and giggles just oh, shits okay. and giggles. oh i'm doing this to try and disperse the crowd so <laughs> more god so a couple as you get closer you hear call masters go um uh captain captain jenkins captain jenkins i've got the i've got the the people and you see a a female um elven character come across to you in armor but in a much shinier armor much more much more fancier and it's got a few it's got three stripes on the on the shoulder blade and uh, she walks up to you and just goes um thank you thank you masters right um we're gonna i want masters i want you on the left i'm gonna need four of you over there uh peters 
Davidson. No, she says them on the names. I'm not going to make up. <laughs> We've all just got these nice British regiment <laughs> names. <laughs> I can't. I'm just out my best here, right? Oh, Go on. There must be baddies names. then if they are British. Barmy. Right. Uh, um, Barnstable over here. <laughs> <laughs> Barnstable over here. Um, I want you all. I'm sorry. This is for your own protection. Apologies. This is not. It just. We've got to get you through this crowd. I'm going to try and get you, if you're happy to, I'm going to, we're going to flank you and try and get you through. We're going to try and push through. We'll do a lot of the heavy lifting. You know, if someone gets through to you, you know, you, you look like you're happy to take a punch or two or punch one back, but we'll get you through and we'll get you safe. Okay. Can I do an insight check? Certainly. Yeah. I want to see if she's on the level, basically. Okay, fine. If she means what she says or whether mm -hmm. they're actually trying to arrest us or pseudo arrest us. Are we uh, in trouble? That's the... Yes. Mm -hmm. That is a 23. <laughs> 23 Ooh. wow okay with the 23 she's not trying to arrest you you get from her she's very on edge lot of shit going on she wants to make sure you're safe so she's trying to make sure you are safe okay she's not putting you at peril she's making sure that you've got she's doing this with order and organization and seems to be doing this with good tactical benefits to protecting you so i think you understand that she is more protecting you is that because she wants to protect you so you can go to jail you can't i wouldn't say yeah. that she's giving anything away to that but if anything she's at least not trying to put your lives at risk is what okay. she's trying to do so you can take from that what you will okay yeah Carrie's i don't know with... today yeah no but i would say i mean you don't i don't know even with the 23 it's hard to discern yeah you, i, I she's don't not think aggressing she's not being aggressive to you no. she's trying to be helpful so yeah, I, I guess there's kind of until you meet the the people that they're taking us to, it's That's kind of it. impossible but to as to much determine. as what she knows to do. She's been told to, from what you gather, she's following orders, and they seem to be to protect you mm. and get you out of here and somewhere else. However, she is taking you away from the very important portal that you've just found. Yeah. Right now, as well, you can see that there are little bits of fires going off in two directions so there is a fire so from where you're standing you're going out there never eat uh, east from where you are east of what the, the there is no never north east south and rest but as the map is shown you're going east but in that direction you're moving towards uh, what is known as um the sort of hive area from the lower ward and you're going to go through the hive and she's like okay so we're gonna have to go through the hive which is going to be you know it's always a bit you know, it's always a bit kooky down that way. So if we can just maintain a sort of order and we calm and we'll get ourselves out of the hive and into uh, the Clark's Ward as soon as we can. But um, uh, with that, you see in the hive a fire, a burning fire rampaging out of one area of it. Like a, a, there's a big, big, massive smoke plume. And as it's going up, you're seeing little tendrils of like of that smoke going up towards the orb, which now is bigger by far mm. than the last time you were there. It's now, it used to be, if it was that big, it's gone that big from what uh, it was. I, so it's like a third of the way to touching the edges of Sigil. It's like borders now, I'd say. Is Lysindra with us? Yeah. Yeah. I'll sort of le lean over to her and just be like, did I do that? I, I don't, I, I, unfortunately, I, I do not know, but um, it Doesn't could be. Doesn't is a good thing. We were playing with a very temperamental magic, so. Well, I, 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 to be honest, I didn't expect it to be connected to that, but. It could be we coincidence. Some, something, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if they're definitely. Uh, this and this all happened at the same time, but um, from what I. Well, it's not her voice, is it, anyway? But uh, from what she gathers, from... uh, there is no. Um, no causation I, directly. There doesn't need to be causation between them, but I think that something that I think that you've hit an energy point at a time and connected something which is probably what has I don't know. Chosen? So at the same time chosen from my the... experience there doesn't really seem to be much such thing as a coincidence. No, I'm just well, well, well surely the only scientific way to prove it is go back and hit it again. I totally agree. I would love to go back again, but I think that what is happening is that the the, the power from there, from what I've understood from my knowledge, is it takes power from a... It seems to track the portal to... When it did the positive energy plane, we went and had a look, and it took... It destroyed the portal that was there. It was dead. The portal had been dead for only a very short time when that first one happened. And it drew, and it destroyed it in the process, and drew energy to whatever this is up there. 
and so if it gets you've it. hit this and then it's drawn energy if that was you did directed the energy somehow because you all were touching it uh, what if so so do we know or is a theory that that so yeah we do know inside that is the other universe for which uh Karaptis is in charge of the huh? entire universe yeah she looks at you like what oh you didn't know that welcome to the party <laughs> so basically um he he wants to be in control of everything so he's trying to get it's growing could we theorize it's growing from his power because he wants to get in here and control this universe the vision that you had gg and what you managed to cut into carrying mm -hmm. is it possible that actually that blob what if that is Karaptus? what if that is him uh. as some kind of elder god what if you've managed to slice into that universe now he knows that we're trying to stop him he's fighting back completely if that's wild the case i am theory. i i am very worried if that is the case but it's possible but why would it be like the astral sea the astral sea is between everything isn't it mm -hmm. so if you're going to be in charge if you're going to be in control know, of everything much. You oh, I just say I did I can't say things. I can't say things. <laughs> but it was Makarnas when it exploded though. Yeah. So what you what you're saying is we need to shrink Karaptus' balls. It's it's kind of like an enlarged prostate, you see. And yeah. Oh come on, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. That is just imagery we do not need. Thank you. I, I, feel, I feel sorry for JR having Look, done I this. could be completely I know nothing about multiverses. I know nothing about um, I know many things about the material. Does someone, do you want to make an intelligence check then, Carrie, or anyone who wants to make yeah. an intelligence check? I'll kind of try and give Gladly. you some. See if we can give some. Oh, that's better. Nothing. 24. 24. So with all the things that you've been given in terms of information, there, that is definitely separate in terms of you you feel that, that is definitely separate but however what you understood from what lady Payne said as well is that it seemed to draw energy from a portal and lucindra said the same and she might say something similar you hit in mccallus and then somehow there's now two explosions that have happened you saw something being very chaotic happening in mccallus mm. and um and so you you feel like and then and so the the guards, I might, you might have understood, like that. So you might have heard some other people say, like, the, what, the two more lightning strikes, two more lightning strikes of the ball, and the ball's got bigger. So it's obviously taken, like the orb's taken. I want to say ball, I want to say orb because that's the term, and it's not going <laughs> to make me think of now the horrible things you said. That um, <laughs> that it's now drawn energy from them. Now, did you lightning rod it? Is that what happened? Did you just direct its location? Is that all that occurred here? So you activated the portal again somehow or you were it's just that maybe it's like because there was energy coming from this portal and there's energy being taken from there are they necessarily related you're not sure mm. well we don't really have any information to link the two just because they're both lightning seems like far too big a coincidence unless it is just we created a mass a surge of power by activate and it has possibly just drains you know fed on that power it could that's be. kind of what i was trying to infer to you yeah that's kind of what i'm saying is that you might have they're connected by energy potentially right. more i'm just giving you that i think with your intelligence that you might have like you feel that there's a differentiation but the thing that connects them is energy and power mm. And so by doing something like that, and the last time it happened, all the portals started exploding in the abyss, maybe, you don't know, but something like that started happening. So there seems to be, I don't know, maybe I'm like giving a, too a, much away. Sort of thing there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I just don't want you to go down the wrong route completely. That's all. Yes. You, <laughs> that's all. I'm just trying to. Well, I mean, you could be right. Perhaps it's some some kind of. Like, ah, uh, lightning rod. 
if it's the only working portal in the city, I mean, it would make sense if this thing is taking energy from portals for it to respond to that one. If you really, uh, so, uh, Lysindra comes out and just says, um, uh, what would she say? I'm just trying to think what she say to me, like, um, we need to go investigate these sites and see what's happening there and see if people saw the energy growing in the, in those portals or if something happened there. I think that's our next, next stop, right? Yeah, think... I'm kind of feeling like all this Hall of Speakers thing might be a waste of time. Should we, um... I can go. I can... You can contact me. I will... Just, why don't you just go? Are you I sure? Will. Yeah. I can cause a distraction. Brian? Yeah? What? 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 You guys wanna... He talks to you in your brain. You wanna leave? I kinda wanna get back to the portal. Yes, yes, I, I think we've, we've lingered too long here. To the portal, or are we going to go and investigate the sites where the lightning was hit? When you're getting, now so you're getting, so you've been talking about this, is now, you've now got your group around you, you go, right, we're ready to go, um, we're going to come in, and then you see, um, with that, anyway, you see a, uh, he's got, you've all got high perceptions, haven't you? You've got stupid high perceptions, all of you, right? Mm. Suddenly you, I'm just going to roll for the... Anyway, you don't see it actually because it will come actually no fine. You in the middle of you, you feel something push past you, and you're like, "What was that?" Like very small, and it goes into the center of you, and you then look, and then you hear a, "Hello, hello, hello, can you hear me?" Hello. Hello, hello. right. Hi, and you see forming a skull, just floating in the air. Why is that always something? <laughs> it's always something. <laughs> you want, uh, uh, can I, uh, what have you been seeing? Can you tell me what you found? And who are you? There? I am uh, Kaida's Mimir. I am just interested to know what you found. Mm. Uh, I haven't found anything. What makes you think that we would found something? You're the people that were in the thing. I uh, mean, we we're having breakfast in there, yeah. We had a big night last night after coming back from the abyss. We're having breakfast crazy. and uh, guards. It's hey. crazy the places you end up after a big night out. Hmm. Yeah. How's your pendant, Carrie? Excuse you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's like, bitch, you said what? <laughs> it's all right. I'm more interested in his recorder. So, well, Kaida's more interested in his recorder. Steve's looking for you, by the way, Gigi. Okay, I don't like you. Anyway, if you want a way out, you can find Kaida here. She will always talk to you. And he just goes, and he gives you, like, you see the little floaty little piece of paper, and it just mentions uh, uh, the tavern, uh, the underhive tavern. So it says that, and he goes, got more answers if you need them. Bye. And he just kind of disappears into invisible and just disappears off. I fucking hate this shit. I've got this going on in another game. <laughs> there's that I play all, in, there's right? always something, right? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> just, who do you trust? Just give me just one person. I don't want to have like, oh, do we trust the Lady of Pain? Well, clearly not. She's got a name like fucking Lady of Pain. I clearly don't get to trust Asmodeus. And now we've got some floating yeah. skull thing and some dodgy people in a tavern. Oh, to be fair, I, I think I've been to that tavern before and they've got a wonderful drinks menu. Frankie, as you as it's about to leave, it just comes right into your ear and goes, scared of the usurper, are you? And then disappears. Um, but on the other hand, um, I don't think they do two for one, so it might not be a good place to go just uh -huh. now. Um, it's like a game of chess. And we're definitely the pawns, right? But we don't know what side we are, and we don't know which way we're going. I just like and chucking more things at people. I'm so sorry. Someone to come and knock us over. <laughs> Told you I have Columbo syndrome. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. One other thing. Uh, one other thing, Mrs. Halburn. Um, oh. There's one thing I almost forgot. Do you have another minute? <laughs> okay, I would like are to leave. Are we making a run now? I would like I to leave. 
So yeah. just in you, general. Wait, we have got the axe. We have got the axe. We can literally just like create portal in ground. We could cross distraction and just dump through to somewhere. We don't even need a distraction, right? We can just like leave. We could just do it. Um, oh, wait, carry. Gee, 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 gee. You, you can't just leave. You've got to do it with style. Now you you're going into the crowd now, and they're pushing through, and they're just moving things around. All right, all right, out the way, out the way, out the way. <laughs> you see someone go, oh, hey, Hummel, 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 Hummel. Okay, we we're need to know what we need to do there. about the dairy and cheese farming. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I can't get a hold of our poor here. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and you remember... I think that was the guy who gave me the job. <laughs> and, just wanted that. and then you see Frankie with this dwarf going, Hey, Frankie, Frankie, you're going to get us into that. You're going to get us into the... What are you... Where's he oh, gosh, he's going? Shit. Car carry, carry, use, okay, use well, the axe, use the axe. Where are we going? Um, where are we going? Doesn't matter, not here. Okay, okay. can I, um, in order to cause the distraction, cast um, Wall of Water as a ringed wall just around... Us, it only yeah. has to be one foot thick, so just encircling okay. us and yeah, just yeah. just cussing us off for hopefully long enough to. Okay. Yeah. The corporal goes, "Wait, what's going on? Are they, are you being attacked? Are you being then, attacked? <laughs> Jesus, yeah. what? Uh, twen twenty foot tall uh, wall of water. Okay, how long does that last for? Uh, concentration up to ten minutes. They can try okay. to go through it. They can try. Um, what do I need to do to try and get through it? During this, I will. I'm going to give them disadvantage because they're also trying to get through a, a, a mass of people. It doesn't actually say um, what you have to do to get through it. It's just a foot thick I mean, wall of water. Okay, I think they're going to be like, I'd imagine fuck is going on? What the fuck have they done? Just God, Jesus, stay back, stay back. Gary, what are you doing? Gary, what are you doing, doing in there? there? And what like, are you doing in there? Yeah, I just... For them. Uh, Brian's like, Bro, go... um. Look, I'm going to stay here with Lysindra. We're going to keep... We'll try and sort this out and say that... We'll figure something out. You just go. Like, just yes, do what yes, you need to yeah, do. Yeah, we're trying to. I can use it to get somewhere else in the city, or does it have to be a different You plane? can plane shift. Uh, can Anywhere. you plane shift to the same plane? I think you... Can you plane... Oh, I don't know, because I feel like we're not done here. Plane. And I feel like if we leave now, <laughs> yeah. it might be tricky to come back. Uh... No, uh, it does say a different plane of existence. You, yeah, it has to be a different plane yeah, of existence. And I can't yeah. do the two portals because I've You can't do the portal thing because you need another one. Okay, I guess we're going somewhere else. I guess. Just where, do you want to? Do you want me to randomly roll? You got you got one in your mind. What one comes to mind? Oh, like you're going to be very we quick. We were talking about it with the Feywild, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. So and you plane shift directly to Feywild. God. Yes. <laughs> Okay, fine. So you see a hole Just cut in the ground. Up. There's water going on around you. It's like, <laughs> like this. Like, and they're like, they're trying to keep a guard away. They're like, what are you doing in there? Are you okay? Is everyone okay? And then suddenly you just see the hole in the ground open and you just jump in. And boom, as we, we jump in, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion, five foot square, just hovering right where we mm -hmm. were um, yeah. as the wall of water drops and it's just a massive hand with a finger. <laughs> 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 And you jump through and uh, you find yourself in the Feywild um, out of character. Do you want to... Like, we can continue probably another half an hour. Do you want to jump out of the Feywild and back somewhere else? That's kind of what I want to ask if you're going to do that. Or do you want to stay in the Feywild? Because we could do I the... This is where you want to end. Or we could do like where you want to get to next because there's another sort of... Um, I, mean, if you know what I mean. I'm probably... Oh, yeah, it's uh, late, isn't it's it? I'm late. probably about hit as late as okay, I yeah. want to going right, like a good ending point so, but that's just me you jump in you jump through the you jump through the hole you enter into this luscious green purple blues magical field very similar to what you saw before there is a, a tree line in front of you there's a small little hut to the corner over there by a little lake um as you jump in you feel like water droplets just starts raining around you gg just starts raining over yeah. you a little bit just like just it just there's a little essence and there's a little it becomes a bit marshy around you just right. because you're still holding that sort of spell and i think it resonates with that um and uh we will leave it there for this week <laughs> god I love it oh my god yeah. oh the drama the tension <laughs> I, I think I think we've got to have like the best cliffhangers of any game. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, geez. Uh, that yeah. whole way there, I was like, am I going to do it? Am I going to yeah. do it? Can and I... then it got to the point where I was like, yeah. 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 I just, yeah. 
I was like, <laughs> what is so funny is I literally have like, we, I've got a list of things for what I'm going to do today. Like what I was going to get to today. And I've got like, I got through about five sentences of what I've written down <laughs> out of like of 20. You and you've not done and of those five sentences, they were most me just like adding those little people in because you've like, you've not done anything that I was expecting, which is great. I love it, which is really and good. And of that list of things that you had that you was expecting us to do today, was any of them go to the Feywild? <laughs> or was that no. Just completely? <laughs> no. None of them was go to the Feywild at all. <laughs> I'm so up for yeah, it. It would be uh, in, it's going to be interesting though to see how everything that's happening in the universe and the and stuff. Do you know what's fantastic about the Feywild? The Feywild. Do you know what's fantastic about the Feywild, and you don't realise when you choose the Feywild, is that when you leave the Feywild, time shifts. Mm -hmm. I know this very well. And so you've chosen the one realm to go to where I've now got to deal with time shifting. Yeah. So, to, to well, thank you. I don't want to make it easy <laughs> for you. I was going to say, to be fair, though, that the one place I didn't want to go was the Feywild because I know how much Hamilton loves the Fey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm totally up for the Feywild. Yes. But it's not where I was expecting you to go. It was I'm the so last wrong. thing that, like, nobody... No, it's great. No, I asked the I question, where it. are we going? Nobody answered. And the last that's thing we good. were talking about was the right. Feywild. No, so. I, 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 I was about I to give to you be... another speech about, like, trust your heart, you know. Yeah. Go yeah. with it. But then you were just yeah. like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> no, I wanted it to be the sort of, like, what's in your head right now? Because that's Leroy what it would be. Like. Yeah. You wouldn't have time to think about no. it. You would just go. So I love it. That I, makes I just think it's mental. I think we've gone for just over two hours probably gaming. And I think there's what been one dice roll in about two hours. Oh, I did about 20 in one go. There was a couple of attacks in this one. You would. There was potential for you to have an actual fight yeah. with something. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not complaining. That. Is that what I happens think, if I, I roll a yeah, two? The, the, the past, the past two, the past two sessions has been yes, so role play heavy. It's been, it's been absolutely fantastic. I'm not complaining it's at all. Been, it's just okay, yeah, it's been it's, fantastic. So long as you're all right with that, because it's not. I, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I, don't get me wrong. I love a good combat, you know. Yeah. But like at the same yeah. time. Um, it's, it's when there's a good story and Hamilton, you've got a good story. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's yeah. all good for the role play. Definitely, I so. yeah. I yeah. hope so. I'm sorry for all the different people I'm adding in. But <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm having but fun I'm, just watching you role play yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I'm trying to, you can have to start moving know. yourself though, so we can we know who's yeah. talking to who. Like, like yeah. Zoe, Zoe's over here, and then someone else is over here. I think Brian, I'm just trying yeah. to make this a bit uh, dragon heisty, which is that there's a lot of there's a lot of actors in this game if you know what i mean there's yeah. a lot of parts that are being played and so i'm trying to i'm just trying to get that across it because oh, i think brilliant. it brings the, the world to, to life as well yeah. you know mm. okay so kaida's really interesting she's like super cool <laughs> but she's clearly <laughs> dodgy as her. fuck yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, like, like most of uh, Car uh, frankie's associates i'm sure exactly yes yeah. yes yeah <laughs> frankie are you scared of the usurper Oh. Are you scared of the sofa? To be fair, are I, you? I, I <laughs> don't know. Um, so I just you don't know. I just reacted in what way I thought would be more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm sure we can build something in. <laughs> no, you you'll know. We'll we will talk more about it. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure there could be a deal gone wrong at some point in the past. Which is you might not. Frankie might not even know about it. Mm. Because remember, we're in a very different world. This is true. Yeah, Chris doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. I'm going to tell you that now, Frankie probably doesn't... Well, I think Frankie... We'll talk about it, yeah. but I think Frankie might have inclinations of what she means. Mm. Uh, the Mima is actually... He, so he means, but through Kaida. And um, and what... But you probably... Yeah, be interesting. Well, we'll, we'll, yeah, we're going to look at we'll options. Talk about that. That's cool. So, that, <laughs> that was today's episode. That's, that's where we are. <laughs> Uh, we'll see what happens in the Feywilds next week. You better get writing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know what? If anyone listens to DM's Book Club, they know what probably lands of the Feywilds we might end up in mm -hmm. because I've got one already to go, which me and me and uh, Fiona wrote together. We might end up there, which is quite fun. I, I, I have listened to Amazing. the Feywilds episode. So yeah. Yes. <laughs> when we make our own domain of delight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Good. Get ready for that. Uh, but we'll see. It depends if you you can jump out of there if you want to straight away. But yeah. it's up to you. I mean, it's either going to be that or it's going to be just get completely sidetracked. Let's go to the pub again. Well, what I'm going to say <laughs> is if you could at least let me know what your thinking is as a group. Have a chat between yeah. yourselves and just like use the Discord chat and let me know so I can prepare accordingly because mm -hmm. it'd be useful to know what's going on. For uh, 
with that then, why don't we just do our usual little outros of who you are, where you are, what you are, <laughs> what you are, you know what I mean, what you do, that's the thing. Uh, starting, let's go random, I'm going to roll some D4s, let's make this more, let's get some oh, rolls, we haven't got enough rolls in this game, so let's do some yeah. rolls, okay? All right, first up is number one, <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> It's me. Hello. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, number one on the dice, number one in our hearts. Oh. Not oh. true. <laughs> but give me more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spoken like a true actor. Yes. Uh, I would have been an actor otherwise. But, <laughs> but yes, hello. I'm Chloe, uh, also known as Chloe with the flow. Everywhere on the internet, uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. I stream on Twitch three times a week. You can also find me on Deck of Many Aces, an actual play podcast made with actual asexuals and aromantics. We are... Well, I'm going to get this right now. Uh, when this comes out, yes, we'll have a new episode out, which comes out this Friday, which will be like a week ago. Yes. When you are hearing yeah, this my is, voice. Yeah, so <laughs> this will come out in... This is... If we're Tuesday, it'll be a week or Monday that this show comes out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they come out every other Friday. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we're back to regularly scheduled programming in Yay. both in both just generally and also in technical issues. So it's all good. Um, but yes, uh, that's a whole lot of fun. Uh, and I do all the music for that. So you can find all the music elsewhere, like on Spotify and on Amazon, on Apple Music, all of that jazz. Um, wherever you get your music, wherever you get your podcasts, you can find those. Uh, Fantastic. I didn't think of a cool story this week. Uh, I'm well, sure we didn't I do have any one. last week either. So. This is yeah. true. We didn't do any yeah. last week. I did get new dice. Yeah. That's yes, what happened this week. I got my school. carry dice from Homebrew oh, Dice. Carry dice. Yeah. From, who was it again? Homebrew Dice. Homebrew Dice UK, in Wiltshire. Yeah, I, 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 I might be wrong with Wiltshire. Please don't quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> in England. In the UK. They're in England, I, I, I but they ship, they ship worldwide. So, um, Sorry? I want to be in Barnstable. That's why I want it to be. <laughs> we all want to be in Barnstable. <laughs> obviously. We all love Barnstable. <laughs> Uh, as, 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 as I say, the only time I've ever been in Barnstable was, was there for two hours because the train was broken down. <laughs> and um, and the, you know, you know, Pumpkin Cafe, the really terrible yes. cafes you get. Um, even that was closed down, so there was just oh. nothing to get to eat. So we were just at Barnstable <laughs> Station. For like two With hours. not even a pumpkin cafe. Oh, not even man. a pumpkin cafe. Oh, know. my gosh. <laughs> they are terrible as well. Don't, uh, sorry, I mean, let, if we get, don't sponsor us. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> pumpkin <laughs> cafe, if you're listening. <laughs> uh, next up, then. It's a four. So uh, that is Luke. Luke, you're fourth on the screen. Yo, what's up? Uh, I'm Luke. You can f uh, or find me on all the, the places on well on Twitter at Duderini. Uh Spelling is around the, your screen somewhere or in the podcast description, I'm sure. Uh, I do some stuff. Uh, you can follow my podcast cast pathfinder podcast a cut from the chronicles at cft chronicles um on the twits we have started recording boom i was up all last yes. night editing uh but that won't st still be you know it's not going to be released for probably about another month or so um mm. but that's exciting um occasionally i turn up on the eu happy hour as part of manapot studios i was supposed to be doing a starfinder one shot this friday with them and but they start too early for me i've got my kids so i couldn't join i was like ah oh, damn it um that's that's about me really cool. yeah good uh, yeah. awesome yeah. Yeah. all right i'll roll between the two of you then hi no. hi's are hi's are will Loza, chris it's a one, so it's Chris. It's a low blow. Um, yeah. Well, no, it's just because you're alone, you're first on the screen, <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, Chris. Uh, you can find me predominantly on Twitter, uh, Borough underscore Brick underscore Rose. Just again, show notes on the bottom of the screen. Um, occasionally on Instagram on Goblin Paint Job. But I've still not painted for about two months, which is Oof. terrible. I just haven't had time. Um, and that's what yeah, I've got nothing interesting to sell. And I got my car back after two weeks, which is. Uh... <laughs> I've got nothing to say about Yay. my car. Well, my car is in the garage today because it blew up again. Oh, God. Oh, my car was in the garage oh, today, but they well, fixed it. So it's I, fine. I would have had a bill of around nineteen hundred pounds if it wasn't for the warranty. Oh, 
that's extortionate. I, I, yeah. I neither have a car nor can drive. Yeah. So I've, I've, I think I'm, I think oh, I'm don't I don't think I've ever even paid that much for a car. <sighs> yeah, like... yeah, that would have been a, a, a scary bill. Um, but yeah, no. Um, but I'm yeah. there. No. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> there you go. That's all I've got. That's it. it was, everyone's a little bit tired and a bit worn out it's now. All the they? pancakes, man. I had so many pancakes today. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, we, we, we didn't have pancakes today because for the past two years, I think it started off in lockdown, we started having pancake day on a Saturday morning just so we could distinguish between a weekday and a weekend. Yes. yes. And yeah. now the kids will not let us not have Saturday as pancake day. That's amazing. We pancake that's, that's, day yeah. once if you, that's, that's so good. Like the little things like that, because they're yeah. going to grow up and they're oh, going to yeah. be adults. And they'll be like, Sally's pancake day. And they're, pancake, you know, yeah. they're going to meet a partner and their partner's going to be like, what? what? And what? then, what? And, you know, yeah. with any luck, that might even go down to, you know, they'll tell their kids stories about this. But that's exactly. like, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. No, it, it, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so me growing up, you'd have pancakes once a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we have them once a week. So yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's, there you go. There's an, there's an interesting story to figure out. We have them there. quite regularly in our house because Rachel absolutely loves pancakes. It can't be a good pancake. Yeah, cannot yeah. be a good pancake. Mm. I'm now going to go off to rewatch the Burr match again and yeah. eat pancakes. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, congratulations. <laughs> well done, well done. Actually, do I have? I don't have any Borough players in my fantasy Premier League. You, no. you won't, cause not in the Premier League. They're not in the Premier League, <laughs> and it was no <laughs> Premier League game either. But yes. beyond that, but apart from that, well, well done, Hamilton. I know Spurs you, are in the Premier League, you, right? You, aren't you, they? you contributed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. I've got. Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm. I'm currently. I'm one point behind second in my in our in our league at work. But basically because I just buy all the star players. <laughs> nice. I got Salah. I got. I just got Salah with my wild yeah, card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got Ben Rama on my play. I've got Cancelo. I've got Saar and goal. Yeah, there you go. I know wow. Names. I don't know what they do. They play football. But I, I do it just for that. Like, I just want to win not knowing anything about football. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I, I, I work as a league and someone who's in it is top 4,000 worldwide. Oh, wow. And like 8 million people play the game because it's huge That's insane. In, like, um, yeah. in like India and China and things like that. So, so mm. yeah. Yeah, so I don't think I've got any chances of taking him down. No, no, our person in first is like amazingly good, and then yeah. there's us in the back who are just there's, like there's always there's always the someone. Yeah, um, but yes. Uh, then finally, then Will. Last but definitely not least, as I always say. Hello. Uh, yes. Um, I, I've got, I have got a random fact today, which is this. I don't know if it'll come up on the camera. Uh, oh, my football oh, oh. team is is West Ham. This is a paperweight sort of thing. When West Ham left the old stadium, I won a raffle to win a piece of... Uh, is that a piece this, of earth? It's a piece of turf with grass wow. on it. Which, <laughs> I, which I got as a paperweight, which I won a raffle for. So I went so to school kind of near um, their training ground. So the school oh, I went right. to was uh, Warren Comprehensive when I was there. in Chad- Chadwell Heath, the Dagnam area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way that I used to walk home, because I actually used to, it's about a 34-minute walk, where I, you know, it was cheaper than get the bus. And uh, took me right past their training grounds. I used to walk past it every day. I don't think mm. it's still there. I think they moved their training grounds, but yeah, mm. but, yeah. Because yeah, they're in the um, the stadium, the Olympic Stadium now, aren't they? There they are. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'll be yeah. going in two weeks' time. Have my heart broken, I expect. But... <laughs> by them losing. <laughs> by them losing, as as has yeah. always been the way. My first ever match, we lost four one, and it hasn't been an improvement since then, really. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, on to promo my various things. Yes. Uh, my main thing, which you can probably see down there, is whoop, our WD. Hey, with, with hey look at that fantastic logo. Hamilton <laughs> slash Arcane Visions. Oh. <laughs> when when that was the thing that you were doing. Um, uh, which is a actual play podcast of Onyx Path Scion System. It's like a mix between American Gods and Percy Jackson. We've got four seri- seasons done, and they're all over the internet on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts or wherever else you get your podcasts. And we recently found out we were actually featured on their official blog, which is quite cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, so, cool. so we're on the Onyx Pass web- website too. Especially humiliating considering we just don't use like half of the rules for that game. My favourite part about it was that they, they specifically said, oh, it's a really good one to listen to to learn how to play Scion. And it's this running joke that none of them know how to play Scion. Like, <laughs> clearly they didn't <laughs> listen to the <laughs> show then. <laughs> but still, a nice plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah. that's one thing I'm doing. Another thing that I'm doing um, is with with my lovely girlfriend called The Date Night Drive-In, where we go through the top 100 IMDb films. Uh, we have recorded four so far. The most recent one to come out, I think, is probably Casablanca, although by the time mm. this says it may be our next one, which is Scarface. 
and mm-hmm. we're just about to sit down and record Alien, which will be oh, brilliant. Yes. No, you're because no, you're Sam talking. is a massive so wimp who has never so watched good. any horror oh, film all the way oh. through. She's agreed to watch it, but only in like bright sunshine at like <laughs> 10 a.m. in the morning. Fantastic. <laughs> so so oh, good. Alien is such, such a good, good film. film. I, I know, I know, I love it as well. So that's a second thing. And a third thing on the horror topic is a cast of many things. Brilliant podcast. Um, one of one of their one shots features Chloe, actually two, so check that out. Yes. Um, but I'm playing the the Call of Cthulhu game as well, so it's just I oh, cool. love Call of Cthulhu. Very jealous. Fantastic it's, game. Yes, awesome. it's very fun. I'm mm. playing a um a Giles from Buffy sort of parody. Oh, because that's right. You did I'm, mention I'm, this last week. Yeah, 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 I mentioned yeah. last time. Yeah, but I'm the only British person like in mm. the in the game, so I'm just re- really playing up the English professor sort of yeah, stereotype. Yeah. Love it. So, love it. Yeah. Got to be done. Got to be done. Those those are my various promos. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my yes. gosh, that's so much. And, and what yes. about you, Hamilton? What, what about, about me? You? What about me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, DM's Book Club is is doing lots of fun things as well as the Dragon's Jewel stuff. There's the Darkest Timeline you can always watch as well. But yeah, yeah DM's Book Club, we're doing what we have out. Oh, actually, it's, I don't know what we're going to have out by then. But starting soon, starting soon is we're doing a special 16 part series called the DM's Travel Book Club, where we do one episode a week about each of the planes of existence. So if you want to brush up on your planar knowledge, (laughs) so when you're watching this, then you can go and listen to watch that and listen to it wherever you find podcasts. But yeah, so that's that's um that's everything. That's everything I'm I'm doing. That's it. There's probably there's more stuff in the pipeline that we're doing. But I'm just going to keep secrets. There we go. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So we will basically see you all next week. So as ever, thank you so much to my wonderful players that have been amazing. And And thank you to our wonderful GM. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everyone listening at home and watching at home. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. 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 And now back to Dungeons and Dragons.